Hello, everybody. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Let's chat. I played a little bit ahead in the game again to try to get an idea of what to do. And we have, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> good news. I'm going to get a sword. That is going to make the game very easy. And apparently the game just gives it to you. So that's good news. The bad news... There's not really anything I really want in the shops anymore. So we're, we're going to hit like a little bit of a difficulty bomb as we go through the next few chapters. Because honestly, I was taking a look at the charts since I did find them finally for weapons. And honestly, the payment to damage scale is really terrible. Like we're talking like, oh, I could pay 400,000 in order to get a 30 point attack increase. And I'm like, that's not worth it. <laughs> So, yeah, we might be just sitting on this equipment for a while. Kind of unfortunate. To give you an idea of how good this other sword is, our current sword, I think, is around 300 attack. The one they give to you is, like, I think 560 base. And I don't pay anything for it. So, yeah, we're, we're going to hold off for that. So, technically, I don't have to pass any more bills if I don't want to. So, I might not. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like the difference. I think we're on like a rank 20-ish weapon, and this one's like a 32, if I remember correctly, offhand from looking up the charts earlier. But yeah, it's a very, very big jump. The final couple of tiers, since most items have up to tier 40, uh, the last three tiers are so far ahead of everything else. But expectation being that basically everything after 33, I think is basically item dungeon or bonus drops only. Or if it's at the top of the top, you can only steal it from bosses. So there's that. So I wrote down some notes as to what to do. There's a couple of ones where I completed the stage, but I wasn't like, super happy with how it went. So there might be some experimentation to clean it up a bit more. We're going to go ahead and show the game in just a moment. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Hopefully you're feeling better, Chris. That is indeed a heck of a challenge. Welcome, Dinyar. Hope you're doing well. We are kind of cruising through. I was like, I swear, if I saved over that other file I just opened, I was going to lose my mind, chat. You have no idea. <laughs> it's going to be like... Okay, so before we jump into the rest of the challenge, I want to get the bad ending out of the way. I just want you to know, chat... I went up basically two levels just murdering companions, so oops. Let's go get a bad ending real quick. Oh wait, what? Dear sirs and madams, I hope these dark days mm, find you well. Maybe it's the other save file. Give me a second. Since I can't skip that cutscene on the PC version, big miss by the way. I would just like to say, really would have loved cutscene skip there. Maybe it was the other file. My bad. <clears throat> I'm like, I had to get 100 ally kills to get to the other ending. It was this one. Oh, yeah, because I saved today. My bad. So, it, I still gained two levels, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I made... I made a lot of people chat. <laughs> just listen. Getting 100 ally kills was really boring. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not thrilled about some of these ending unlock conditions. I'm just going to showcase... The genocide happened. <laughs> it was very boring. It took like 40 minutes. Just kind of roll my eyes. So anyway, let's go beat that one story mission. I think it was Jotunheim Ice Queen. Yeah. So all we got to do is remember, Lord Madaris is like level 19. Um, I'm going to wish him the best of luck. I don't think there's anything he could do to stop me. Why even bother bringing other people? <laughs> right, chat? It's like, you you foolish mortals are in my way. The only thing I'm going to double check with this wall of characters. Oh, this is before Imperimeter hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. I dare them to fight me, chat. Oh, that's so cute. They tried, at least, I guess. 
Oh dear, yeah, they can't do anything, chat. Listen. I would have liked to brave part, because it might save us time on the vampire. Yeah, what are they gonna possibly do to us, chat? Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can one-shot him. I think it's gonna take two hits, sadly. Braveheart would have been nice to start pumping up to do more damage there. I mean, he tried. But, uh, I got bad news for him. Perish. That that's pretty one-sided, right, chat? Just a little teeny bit one-sided. Forgive me. Please spare my life. I beg you. Okay. So, killing 100 allies. We now have the option to kill. Wait! What? I understand how- No mercy! But you don't have to kill him! <laughs> no mercy indeed, chat. If you don't kill guys like this when you get the chance, then they always come back with a vengeance. Understand? No, that's not true. Can't you see that he wants to repent for his sins? Yeah, right. Just stay out of my way. If you plan on killing him, then you'll have to go through me first. You serious? I'm serious. Hey, what's that over there? Huh? Gotcha. <laughs> this is what happens when you try messing with me. I might as well kill the prince, too. The world is mine! <laughs> I'm the heroine now! There we go, Chad. Did you like that ending? Poor boss. She's the hero now, you heard her. So yeah, right after this we'll be resuming the playthrough. Now there are vocals in the Edna Boogie songs. I'm not gonna talk about strategy for how we're gonna beat the rest of the game, but we'll talk about other things. How are you doing today, chat? We we have unskippable credits on the PC. I mean, if I don't understand how she killed the unit that is Laurel at level 33. Listen, she she said look over there, and her level 5 self killed the level 33 Laurel with all the super equipment. She's really good. It, it's kind of like the NPCs where, like, you know, you fight them, they're like level 9,999, they join your party, then they're level 10. She, she just left the party and went, like, three times her level. It's, it's easy. It all checks out. Look at that. PlayStation Portable Staff. Well, at least you know what version of the game they took. Yeah, I will say it's definitely a shame, the PC version. It does add some quality of life, but I don't think it's up to the same par as uh, Disgaea Complete, which does make me a little sad. While I'm not a fan of some of the graphic changes in Disgaea Complete, it does have like pretty much all the quality of life movement ups that are present in the later games. Things like instant moves, skip all cutscenes, no force credits. <laughs> so if you're just looking to go through the game real quick, definitely a lot faster than the other ones, unfortunately. But hey, we're here, we get to talk a bit. I think there's only a one ending that's going to be kind of annoying to do if chat wants to technically see all endings. It requires me to basically... Basically complete a... Uh, basically an item god kill, and then I have to kill 100 allies. Just kind of annoying. 
I'm not gonna say it's impossible for us to do it before the end of October. It's just more annoying than it should be. Since that involves going into the item world. Which, by the way, chat, thankfully you did not get to see the nonsense that was item world. Because I recruited all those characters initially to kill them off floor by floor in the item world. Rather than resetting 1-1 one, one over and over and over, losing my mind. And I got the trolliest item world I have ever seen. I feel kind of bad I didn't record a little bit of it, but... It was basically like the entire map was invincible, clone, no lifting. <laughs> it was actually bullshit. <laughs> I was just like, I'm like, wait, how do you, wait. And then the gatekeeper was invincible because they were on the invincible tile. I'm like, this is horrible. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get the exit out of this. This is garbage. I'm not dealing with this. I was like, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a big oof. And the worst part too is that I I don't know if the gate was, but the thing I needed to kill was on its own little island. So I had to like chain throw if I wanted to go reach it. It was really gross. It was one of the worst formations I have ever seen. I didn't think it was allowed to do that, but uh yeah, not not thrilled. <laughs> it's just just terrible. Like, at least there were some spaces that weren't all oops, all invincible, but invincible clone was like, come on, really? <laughs> all they have to do is just stand still when they're not in reach of somebody and they just cheat, they just troll me. So bad. So anyway, needless to say, I gunsy doored out of there and gave up on that. There's my little, there's my little talk of some of the stuff that happened off stream. So I might as well save again, I guess. Sure. I don't really care about carrying it over the save file. All right, let's go with our real playthrough. Invincible baby daughter clone, it really was. So as I said before, there's nothing I really want from the shops anymore. I should just get to the state that I need them to be naturally. Now, the other thing that I was going to mention is that, uh, we do have to rank up if we want to unlock the extra areas. I don't technically have to do that with Laharl, so I'm going to wait a little bit. Oops, sorry chat, my notes are hidden. Apologies for the brief flicker you're about to see, because I need to see my notes. I wrote down, let me read at the bottom of my notes, that we could technically go to Printing Land right now, because I think we're in episode 9. Oh no, we're in episode 8. So next episode, we'd be able to go to Printing Land, if I really wanted to do the extras. But I think what I'm going to do to keep the playthrough a bit more solid is we're going to do the extras after we're done with the main playthrough. But for those that are curious, I could technically even go to Cave of War deals, since I only need to hit Demon Rank 6 and have 700 mana. So, there's that. Oh. Did I talk to the zombie? I don't think I talked to him this chapter. Today I'm gonna give you a pretty straightforward hint. Go to the Lunar Snowfield. The pretties are there. You know, I don't think you could call that a hint. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we gotta zoom. I just wanna make sure. Did I talk to... I thought I talked to everybody. Oh, okay. Maybe I just didn't talk to the zombie, because we definitely talked to the other people before ending last session. It's kind of funny. The one time I don't talk to the zombie, he's required to advance. Anyway, we're going to go here. Go to the Theater of Death. Ah, uh, the stage. So, hold on. It's actually faster to do it this way. I'm learning to menu since I don't have the shortcuts of the other games. So, our goal is to reach these. I technically could throw the defense minus 50 here. Uh, but spoilers, it doesn't matter. Okay, I think I need to get at least five stacks make this somewhat reasonable. Sorry all the name characters, you have to die. I'll leave Rogue 9 alive for now. It'll be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I need one more, I think. Well, I guess it depends on the Harl's movement. Yeah, it should be fine. Go this way. Say goodbye to everybody that's over here, by the way, chat. They're just ultra dead. 
Oh, that's right. She has a five throw. I forgot about that. Um. Yeah. Give a salute to everybody that got me over here, chat. These characters are so dead. It's not even questionable. Urged. Okay, well. Curiosity. All right, so we have several SP items. I might even go buy more. Okay, the only thing I'm interested in purchasing is SP up. The reason being is that I want to be spamming basically Overlord's Wrath and Meteor Impact, which is very, very expensive. Um, but if I do that, I can get the move stronger. So we might be consuming our own items here. Hmm, I could combine some of these enemies. Oh, speaking of which, oh, nothing interesting. There's one other stage later on I can use to level up some of these other characters. Uh... I leave one character in here just in case. Yeah, they're only level 72. We should be fine. Uh, oh, I thought they were one space closer. Oh, well. Well, if somehow they survive this... Ooh, look at that. I actually saved a character. So I have two characters. We can technically Braveheart ourselves if I want to. Question is, do I feel like I can kill them? In one hit. Uh... I could do something cheeky like this. Parameter. <laughs> sacrifice for the cause. I think we'll have Chris come out and sacrifice for the cause as well. How much SP do I have left? I should have enough. Oh yeah, that's right. I could just do this. Oh, Chris is not level 12. Oh, uh, never mind. Rip. Uh, the only thing I care about is Wing Cutter here, I think. Ooh, sucks to- sucks for them. Get punched. Nice level up. Oh wait, there's an- oh, there's the guards over there. That's right. Oops. Guess we should go take care of them. Hey, we're level 60 now. See that? Just impromptu merging of enemies. I mean, there's no way this guy can even hurt me, right, Chad? I mean, like, even with triple belt on, or I only have double belt on currently. Doesn't matter. We're just too strong, Chad. Yeah, so sadly, this money will probably just go towards healing items. Speaking of which... I wish I had money for that. Double Gladiator is kind of sick. Uh, that should last me for the game, I think. So we took one more safety heal, chat, but I think we're good. I know. We just need to we just need to get the characters just a little more level. Hey! Hey you! Uh, me? Yeah, 
about you. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies? You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Damn. W what? Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan. It's not Hey or you. You have never called me by my name. Not even once. Since the first time we met. S so what's it to you? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. Ugh! What do you know about being an overlord? Forget it, I'm not talking to you anymore. There we go, chat. Very mature. So, one other thing I noted, chat, when I was testing things. At around 10,000 health, 5,000 SP, and 110 deaths, we get an item called Sophie's Mirror from the Nurse. That might be the only item I might bother going for. So I need to do at least 2,000 more damage to myself. So I think I have to start getting these other characters killed. We are actually not at 110 deaths. I think we were still sub-90. So we gotta get more player kills in here. Um, oh. Interesting. Yeah, now that we have one character with Braveheart, we could just kind of abuse that over and over. Oh. Oh, I accidentally used my 7 move character. Whoops. Which one had my booth? Gonna bite it? Bite it. I might have to rename one of them Boots Chat so I don't accidentally use them. That extra movement there would have let me do this without needing another throw. Would have been nice. Well, I do need our characters to die. <laughs> right, chat? Just unambiguously, they need to die. Um... Sure, we'll have uh, Imperimeter start Bravehearting. We need to eventually get his Braveheart status up. Oh, there we go. Now his staff rank is going up. If I want to do the bonus stuff, since being able to Braveheart two characters would actually be huge. And one thing I'm not sure... I forgot to look. Are we gaining XP for buffing? Because that doesn't always happen in these games. Like, for example, in the original PS2 version of Disgaea, healing doesn't give you experience. Oh, that's all he did? Oh. Well, that was kind of underwhelming. Wait, are all these guys just, like, level... Wow, these guys are really underleveled. They I don't even think they could kill Madaris. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of annoying, actually. Well. Let's just continue to use Braveheart, because I need this at some point. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting XP for buffing, so I think maybe that's not a thing in this version of the game. Which is kind of unfortunate, since all the later ones do do that. And I think the complete version of the game, as of a couple of years ago, also has that. So that is going to make leveling the characters way harder than it should be. Unfortunate. Because otherwise, Imperimeter probably could have hit, like, level 20, level 30 just by buffing us over and over. So, super, super unfortunate they did not update that. On the plus side, though, Braveheart still stacks no matter what you do with it.
Oh, there's enemies up there. Good to know, I guess. Oh, come on. This is just getting sad. They're getting kills. <laughs> they got kills. Right, chat? Like, really? Okay. Th this is just really underwhelming enemies. That is so annoying. He's just, like, in the worst possible spot for me. I do this. There we go. Well, time to ensure in Parameter starts uh, at least ranking up his staff. <clears throat> and the reason why that's important is because it adds range to how far away it can buff, but more importantly, lets me do multiple targets. So right now he can only single target, but eventually I could do things like 3x3s, etc. The goal is to just have a 2x2. Two two. I don't really care if they get experience or not. Technically, I could just kill them with Imperimeter. He does actually have good enough stats to do it. I think I need to get Magic Rank 2 before we see anything interesting. Our stats don't matter for Braveheart. <clears throat> there we go, Die to Poison. Perfect. There we go, look at that chat. We ranked up Braveheart. Better range. So technically, that's all I really need to beat the game, by the way, against Pretty Ball, is just Braveheart with two targets. Whatever. I guess I'll go protect our allies, question mark. Yeah, they're ultra low level. Hmm. I might just wind cutter them. I don't even think they're worth merging. You can see our sets are hilariously good. And I still need to have some more character deaths. This is this it before. I'm going for a hundred and something. So they need to die unambiguously. Well, parameter. You're going to the front lines. You might live? Depends on who targets you. Ooh, look at that. You know what, chat? You know what? Let's see if let's see if we can do it. Actually, before we do that, let's have assistance from Chris. Oh, I gotta put one of these guys away. There you go, teamwork. Oh, that was so close. Man, Parameter almost had it. Beat the game, you can literally solo with an Omni Mage. Uh, I don't think that's possible without grinding, Kite. That does not even sound remotely possible. I, even if you somehow got them at level 1, that does not make any sense. Oh, well, we'll give it to Parameter. Yeah, unless you do some serious grinding, I don't see how that's possible. Go this way. How much do I have? Ooh, I'm at 97 deaths already. This is perfect. So I need to take 1600 more damage or 1200 SP. And I need 13 more deaths? It's not bad. Should get it soon. There we go. So technically, I can have them try to buff up to do big damage, I guess. The problem with, like, the mages in general is just, like... It's easier to get weapons for melee characters than it is to pump the stats of a mage. Even though mages can do a lot of damage. So they just become very expensive to maintain. Like that. I don't think that's entirely true. 
Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. Oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. That's not weird at all. Well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. A human? Yeah, she was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually, the prince was born. Hmm, is that so? She was always saying things like, demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? Solo of my second playthrough with an Omni Mage without new game perks? How is that? I don't think by definition that's possible. I mean, like, wouldn't you already have all the nurse items at minimum from the first playthrough? And then all the money? Unless you're saying you, you'd grinded to get the stats, because as I said before, it gets really expensive to get SP for them. The queen died. Huh? A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. There was only one way to save him. Which was? The life of one who loved him. Then? That's right. The queen took her own life despite the king's efforts to stop her. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so, but I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Yeah, I'm just not following you, Kai. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't see how your character could survive multiple hits. Unless you mean you picked up people so that they didn't reach you. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved. Or you did... If you did item world diving, that also makes sense to me. Then I'm kind of like, whatever. <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, that, that would explain it. Because I don't think in a normal playthrough you get enough money to really possibly equip. Like, we barely have enough for Laharl. And he's really strong right now, but even he can't really tank a lot of these maps. Especially with NAB boost times three. Uh, where to go first? Yeah, like, right now we're not at the hard part of the game. We're, we're kind of cruising through. But there's going to be some really nasty ones towards the end of the session. Um... I guess I'll do another stack. Oops, I don't know why I threw this way. I mean, I probably still could. I don't think it really matters. Meant to be throwing this way. Speaking of which. I'm gonna need... Okay, I'm gonna definitely rename one of the boots. <laughs> I need to know who has my boots. I'm gonna have Rogue Nine help me out here. I'm gonna have him come over here and lift this guy if I need to. Actually, 
need to do that. Do this. Disregard. I think I had to come in through that side, but it doesn't matter. Back to safety, Rogue Nine. Maybe I'll put Rogue Nine with the boots, because I'm more likely to not use them. Yeah, the other characters aren't really going to move that much. Yeah, you can see they're doing some pretty decent damage to us currently. Even without the boost, they do tons of damage. Okay, let's see. Let's use Wind Cutter. Uh, I'm gonna put six feet under away for now. Not what I wanted. Oh, can he not walk back in range? That kind of sucks. I'm gonna move him over here. I might heal. Yeah, I'll probably heal. Hmm. I'm gonna move him over here and just do a quick heal. That's I took a little more damage because I took a bad path. That was my fault, but that's why we have healing items. I messed up like that. Uh, a lot of grinding. Would explain it. Go through here. Get through here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm a wear kind. Uh, let's go through here. I have no interest in playing a staff user in this game. They do scale very well in Disgaea 1, it's just they're kind of boring. I feel like the later games make them a bit more unique, which I find interesting, but they uh, by themselves are just kind of okay. Ooh, they don't even move. Uh, let's do this. It actually didn't look like I would technically need it to heal there. Unfortunate. So we're not that far away. I need eight more deaths. I need to use up 900 more SP and take 700 more damage. And that'll be the last upgrade we ever get, I think, for the character. We're just gonna go to the end. are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sins. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies are the souls of sinful humans. Yes, and they work in Celestia and the Netherworld to atone for those sins. That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight! Edna, stop them! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! We'll drag them back here if we have to. Dot dot dot, Chan. Who are you? about that those printies are mine 
They're my vassals for all eternity. Dot dot dot. Are you worried? Yes, it would be a lie to say it was not. But I shall leave it to the one who loves him most. <laughs> I was gonna say the answer is himself. Oh, no XPF on this one. Unfortunate. Hmm. I guess the question is, do I want to throw these characters together or not? Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move up one. Let's have them come a little closer. Much better. I think what I can do is have Etna come in, throw. Deal with these enemies real quick. Oh, nice level up. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played 7, so I have no comment on that. Pretty sure I stopped at 4. One of these guys. I was hoping this would be an XP up, but as I said before, we're going to get other chances to get it, so I'm not too worried here. We also have to take damage to get our other unlock. Ooh, Overlord Wrath almost leveled again. Ooh, I didn't kill. Interesting. Well, in that case... Put ourselves out of range. We need to have more characters die with health. Let's get these two killed. You can see our damage is starting to fall off a little bit. Health I'm going to get back later. Uh, we're going to kill you so you can't do big damage to us. We'll save in parameter. Sure, magic boost yourself, why not? Perfect. Now I took some nice damage for the next unlock. Might even just have them let them hit me one more time. I'm pretty close to getting it again. Okay, that went perfectly. I'm gonna end turn again. Let's see if they can hurt me a little more. No. More. More. If he normal attacks me, he dies. So we needed to get about a thousand, right? right? In which case, I'm going to use Meteor Impact. Burn more SP. Monster Belt, nice. Why are you interfering with work? Work? Oh, right. This might be end of chapter, actually. That's Oops. That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. Oops, am I... On my part, then. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Huh. You sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? Dot 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 chat. I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? To save my son's life. Dun dun dun. Oh no, chat, that's a... What is it, eight hyphen double exclamation mark? Because of my death, 
My son shut away his feelings, but he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. Boy, was she boy would she be really disappointed with those other endings we had. Dot 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 exclamation mark chat. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. <sighs> Of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. Dot 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 dot. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you. Without considering your reasons. Without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude, Prince, take care. Lon, Edna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. Kind of deflate, apparently. Poor Prinnies. The red moon reflected in Laharl's eyes, swaying sadly. A gentle, loving mother who gave up her life to save her son. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the red moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. Laharo! When Laharo called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. I'll always remember the sad tale of a mother and her son. There we go, cha chapter clear. Episode 8, Reincarnation End. Oh well, at least I got Meteor Impact used a bit more. Warning, warning, a hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. His name is Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Bonjour! I am your own personal Dark Adonis. With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm! Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mobile Girl at Star Stardust Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon! Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. Sure, let's make another save file. Love that save file. Classic. 
Mm -hmm. Nothing beats having tea in outer space. How beautiful the Earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hyperdrive? Let me see, Gordon. About, oh, five minutes? I see. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the Earth. Are you scared, Gordon? Spoiler, he's not invincible, says Calvision. Something like that. Hey, hey, you're joking, right? Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, is afraid of nothing. You, of all people, should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. <laughs> right. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Beep, beep, flip, beep, chat. Oh, sorry about that. Of course, I didn't forget you, Thursday. Gordon keeps staring at Jennifer's thighs. Pervert, pervert, pervert. Hey, why you? Tea time's over, Gordon. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. I'm turning on the holographic projector. Hi. You look good, General Carter. So, what can I do for you, Commander-in-Chief? You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. Do you have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the hot babes and pizza shacks teriyaki pizza. We'll see what we can do. I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, but the Earth's fate is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three ready. All systems go. Now entering hyperdrive. Engage! Engage! <laughs> Episode 9, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Dude, Prince, there's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. That's like what is even happening in this story. Well, things, obviously. Invaders from another world? I have no idea, dude. Well, we're officially overlords, and we're just dealing with overlord problems at the moment. Attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with glowing fingertips. Oh my! That means there may be people who are hurt. Let's go, Laharo! Forget it. It's probably just a piece of trash. Laharo! Geez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? Stellar Graveyard is a magnet for space debris of all kinds. Don't need anything you find there. Don't worry, dude. It's never going to make any sense, dude. Like I would. Harl very timely with his interjection. Oops. According to human belief, the Netherworld and Celestia both exist somewhere in space. And do humans consider us aliens? Most likely. There we go, chat. It's hard standing in the same spot all the time, you know. While using the mouse for hyperspeed movement. It's a bit late, but it's better to focus on one weapon rather than trying to balance all weapons. Yeah, why are you giving me these, this advice in like episode 9 or whatever? <laughs> right, chat? Like, really too late on that one. More like it's too late. Yeah, definitely. Feels like something big's gonna happen. I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Okay. I'm going to make sure we read all of these. I don't know if this version of the game has uh, a special mode at the end, so I'm just going to do this preemptively. Because the only one I might have skipped would have been my memory. Yeah, we read this one last time. Just making sure we didn't miss any, so we're going to go read the latest in just a second. As I said before, it would have been great if there was a skip. Whatever. A mother's love. All this time... That woman was among us as one of the prinnies. 
She just watched over the prince without saying a word. How could she stand it? I don't get it. She was always like that. She always filled my heart with discord. But my hatred from back then is gone. Has time erased it? Or... There we go. Here, um... How are we doing money-wise? Ooh, nice amount. We did get healed in between. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I need to pass any bills to beat the game. One thing that's kind of awkward about the first game is that there are things to enhance your movement and improve, like, your counterattacks. But when you change it to another character, they don't carry over. Which is a weird decision. I'm glad they got rid of that in the later games. So I feel, like, no urge at all to upgrade her characters. I've been waiting for you, Prince. Credit to the Cellar Graveyard, correct? People have been saying that I'm spoiling you, but I don't want you to get lost. I will see to it that you get there safe. Listen, I'm not a child. Jeez. Not to brag, but I've never taken a bath in my entire life. Oh yeah? Never brushed my teeth in my entire life, so there. That's nothing to brag about. So yeah, we just need one more XP up and we're good to go. We have like two or three chapters before I need it. So hopefully we'll get it in the next one. There's there's a big opportunity to get it in the next one. Let's go to Val Valjavis the fourth. Sure. Gordon? Gordon, where are you? Oh, this isn't good. Where could he be? Spaceship crashed. Gordon failed to escape. Probably smashed into atoms. Rest in peace. Don't worry, Thursday. He's Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Understood, Jennifer. Activating life scanner. Thank you, Thursday. Always listen to a hot babe. That's the law. Beep, blip, beep. So this is the stellar graveyard. <gasps> How beautiful. But it looks like the stars are crying. Flan, you're so romantic. I just want to choke you to death. <laughs> Anna, you are choking me. I, I, I can't breathe. Hey, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Saved by the bell, Flan. <gasps> I hope she was just joking. I almost became one with the stars. Hmm. A lot of enemies. No XP up again. Let's see. Looks like I could combine them. And my concern is their defense is starting to scale pretty high. I think I might actually unironically need to buff in just a moment. Level them up a little more. Hmm. Something like this. So I could just hit them with Overlord's Wrath if I want to. I guess there's no downside to it. The most I would do is probably kill the guy in the middle. Then I can merge them and stall. Not a bad idea. The only downside if I do this is I'm guaranteed to kill Will. Like, there's no way to avoid that, I don't think. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess it's fine. I am surprised I killed one of them. I mean, that's convenient, I guess. That means I could just do something like this. Sorry, hit me. You're, you're going down for the cause. I need to burn more SP. I think what I want to do is... Over here. Move everybody way out of the way. wouldn't even let me do it without a target. Interesting. Let's use Meteor Impact to uh, drain our SP a little more. Look at all that money I don't need, chat. <laughs> sure. Okay, did... I don't think I have enough health restored yet. I don't. We need to burn 700 more SP and get 7 more deaths. I think I could do that. Thurvian Sector. Sense any signs of life, Thursday? Unfortunately, no trace of Gordon's biological signature. I see. We have to find him. I heard at headquarters that the netherworld is full of nasty, vicious creatures. If we're discovered... Ugh. I'll be molested by countless slimy tentacles, and my bodily fluids will be sucked dry. Or we could be swallowed whole and suffer a slow and painful death as we're digested alive. Or even worse... Jennifer, please keep your imagination under control. Life signs detected. Readings do not correspond with Captain Gordon's biological signature. Oh. Or uh, stream elements still is not detecting people for some reason. Rip stream elements. Light forms are approaching. Oh, run, run, run! Shh. Thursday, be quiet. That's odd. I thought I heard a voice of a woman. What? Human children in the netherworld? A human? And on top of that, she's. I got it. You were kidnapped by the Overlord, weren't you? Oh, the humanity! I heard that demons are merciless, even towards children. Oh, you poor things. They didn't bite your arms off, did they? They didn't suck your brains out, did they? They didn't anal probe you, did they? What the hell does she think demons are? But don't you worry. Big Sis'll make it all better. No! Get away from me! What? Keep your sexy body away from me! Oh, I understand. You're going through puberty, aren't you? Oh, don't be embarrassed, cute little boy. Everyone goes through that period. Okay, I'll teach you everything there is to know. You see, as young girls mature, their breasts grow bigger, and boys... Great! Now she's teaching sex ed! Who the hell is this lady? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we're not human children. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I am Flan, an angel in training. This is Etna, a demon. And the one you called cute little boy is the Overlord, Laharl. Dot 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 chat. Killer already says chat? This Damn. Is outrageous! I can't believe such a cute little boy could be the Overlord. Well, this is completely different from the information provided by headquarters. What's going on, Thursday? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. What's the answer? Headquarters is a bunch of liars. Oh, no! Does that mean that the Overlord planning to invade Earth is a lie, too? We came here to slay the Overlord, for heaven's sake. There must be some misunderstanding. Killer keep Thursday, damn. Chat has priorities. Wait, did I hear 
hear you say you came here to slay the overlord? Oh, no, 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 not me. That's the responsibility of our hero, Captain Gordon, the defender of Earth. I'm his assistant, Jennifer, and this is Thursday, the multi-purpose super robot. Beep, 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 beep. Nice to meet you. Hero, you say? Yes, Captain Gordon is the Earth's hero. His noble mission is to vanquish any evil that threatens the Earth. But we were separated from him when our spaceship crashed. <laughs> Very interesting. I must definitely meet this Captain Gordon. Why is that? It is an overlord's duty to challenge heroes. Wow, cool. Woman, follow me. I shall find your hero. Really? But I don't want that sexy body of yours within a three-foot radius of me. Oh, as you wish. Okay, let's go look for Gordon. Here we go, chat. An alliance has been formed. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Ooh, finally an XP up. So I think we can finish leveling a couple characters. As I said before, we have a lot of opportunities. I just need it by the end of the next chapter to have some Braveheart. So the fact I already have one character with it is good. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try something new. This hits there. Now I just need to check a couple people on the way. Yeah, that seems like fun. I need to use Meteor Impact, so I'm using a skill I don't normally use just because I want the SP. I mean, this kind of works out. I even get like a double throw here. I should have enough alive characters to go deal with this. Once we're done. There we go, chat. Creative solutions. Look at that. It's like the most I've ever hit with Meteor Impact ever in any game. Any game played casually or whatever. That does some big damage. Now we're level 63, which is really good. Um... I'm going to withhold on playing any more characters until we get a little further. I might use an item up just to restore our SP. That is a lot of targets. So right now, I'll be able to level five characters, and we have four mages, so this works out. I could hit three. Or I could hit four with this, which I think it makes more sense to do. Pull them a little bit away from the base. Good, and we're injured, which is exactly what I want. And I can kill them this turn. Let's go summon some characters for XP. He's slightly shy of XP. We're gonna have Chris use a low SP recover. Relevant SP gain. This should force everybody to the minimum level so I can start using Braveheart. Anybody else I feel like leveling? Ugh. Level Rogue 9, why not? Yeah, this should just be GG. So we should hit the 110 deaths really soon. Got Muscle Victory. I don't think I really care about. Level 22 manager, maybe? 
Maybe I'll equip it then. So we just need to get a total of 300 more SPUs, and I could go get the other item. And three more deaths. So I think we got it locked in, chat. I think we'll be fine. And hey, look at that, chat. I finally used uh, updates. I see in the chat there was a question for did I watch the anime? No. No, I did not. Let's go to Sphere 8. I was going to say 6 for some reason. My brain was not doing math there at all. What a landing! I guess Lady Luck is taking a vacation. That's right. Jennifer, Thursday. Hmm. It appears that we've been separated. They haven't been captured by the Overlord, have they? Even with Thursday's 200,000 horsepower engine, he can't take on the Overlord alone. I can't just sit here. I've got to save them. Jennifer, hang in there. Oh, he went the wrong way. Hmm. Uh, so I need to take 700 damage. That means I should probably summon the other characters with levels. Or I could have put muscle health on one of the other characters. Uh, so only one other person got Braveheart. I still gotta level the other characters a little more. But we also know I can manipulate health. So if I don't hit it, I can just muscles ace myself over and over. Um... I think this sets up for a pretty nasty move, right? As long as I can reach all of them. Looks like I can, more or less. Okay, so as is, I don't need to do anything special, which is kind of nice. I'm just thinking about where to throw them, is the question. because the other guy's blocking the way. Um... It's like a little shy of reaching. I went to go lift him, and I'm like, wait a minute, that didn't do what I wanted. Hmm. I just have two that I need to pick up without dying. I should have actually just bought boots. That would have solved the issue I'm having right now. That is such a shame. Yeah, if I had a second boot person, I could have picked this guy up easier without wasting a throw. Hmm. Unfortunate. Alright, in that case. Still need some death. Nice, level sixty four. Even gonna bother blocking with the protagonist? I don't think this matters. So they're killing off some of the characters. We do need some deaths. 
there any other enemies, or is that it? Oh, there's some back here, that's right. Not that it really matters. But what we can do in the meantime is just make sure with our remaining characters, we use Braveheart where we can. Our damage is boosted by quite a bit. You can see we're almost at 2,000 when that boost takes effect. So now we just need to put them all in one spot and basically just instant kill them. Oops. Actually, the correct thing that I wanted to do there. Put them together. Double them up. Hurricane Slash. With that much attack power and the 50 percentile, not too worried about it. Now I do need to get these other characters killed. I'm actually probably going to move back some of our other characters so they could just take the death. If I can burn little bits of SP, that's good. It saves me unequipping, re-equipping. I still need raw character deaths, so... To the front lines they go, chat. <laughs> I care not about how they will do. They're four apart, that's annoying. These guys are only three apart, though. Maybe what I should do is get an opportunity to use magic again, actually. So just so chat can see, our attack power is now 2,332. I guess the kite's question earlier. I don't usually watch shows based off the games. Like very rare exceptions. Oh! I'm slightly too close. There we go. Game is just actually bonkers. Oh, I was worried the height difference would happen there. Oh well. That's fine. They shouldn't target me because there's other Bella targets. Perfect. Wow, he didn't die from that? That... Right, chat? Like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was actually a really high amount of stat boosts. I was not expecting that for sure. I think that should be the fifth buff. Unfortunate. I'm gonna put one person away, just in case I need to heal later. This is good. And we took damage, which is great. No bonus XP, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um... I could try to give him XP. This is very likely to die if I do this, but we could try. Oh, we didn't get it. Unfortunate. I tried. 60% was let down. The coin toss was not in my favor. I need to burn more SP, so I guess I'll just use Overlord's Wrath, actually. Okay, so with that, I should have enough, and if I don't, I could just equip re-equip. Okay, that's enough. Let's see if we could roll a little better on this item. It really wants to give me Master. I don't mind Master, actually. But I would 100% prefer Attack, Arms Master... It's like the worst roll gladiator I've seen. Come on, you could do a little better. Broker statistician. Hmm. 
I am tempted to take that if I see that again. I just want to see. What are we looking to replace? We have an Arms Master and only 70 attack. Okay. I'll take that if it comes up again. No. I don't want defense on this item. It's literally pointless in this game. I don't mind SP, but it becomes less useful the higher level I get. There's another Arms Master. But no, I think we can do better. I'll take Arm Master, Manager, Broker... I don't need Manager, even though Manager is normally good. We're past the point where I need mana for anything. Now we're just getting trolled. The bad RNG chat. Come on. Something slightly more interesting, please. Arguably, I could have picked up the stati Statistician Broker, which is always useful. No matter what phase of the game I'm in. Just rolling my eyes left right now. Where's our level 43, like, ideator or something? Arm Master Coach? No. I'll even take Arm Master Gladiator. Like, I'm willing to take a lot of things on this, but I needed to roll, like, a little better. No, not Double Dietitian. Fun game. No. <laughs> HP up does not help us either. That's kind of a dead stat. Game, please. Chad, I'm so sad right now. All we need is for this to roll slightly better, and I'll take it. So we've seen it could go as high as 40. I don't need it to max roll. I just want it to be like Gladiator and something useful. Double Coach is not useful. Come on, game. Weebable. Manager, teacher, physician. See, that would have been great if I was doing a mage. I would have taken that if I was the mage, for sure. Master, arms master. If that was an arms master 20 or 30 something, I would have taken it. Come on, game. Lightator, marksman, teacher. Um. I technically could have kept that. I'd actually prefer an arm master. I could have taken that one as well, I will admit that. I don't need it to roll perfect, I just need it to roll, like, okay. Technically, we could also get the rare item version of this, which we still haven't seen, by the way. Damn, if that physician was actually Gladiator, that would have been perfect. PSO all over again? Yeah, we're getting the, uh, interesting rolls from these items, needless to say. You've gotta be kidding me. I'm at the Tekker again, Chad. They're telling me it's double sentry, and I'm like, could you please re-identify? Unreal. I don't want hit percentage at all either. That stat's also kind of dead for the playthrough. The only things I care about are potentially statistician, broker, manager, gladiator. Double gladiator, but they're terrible. Double gladiator, if they were like both 40, would have been like a snap keep as well. But it's just like, they keep giving me coach. No. Also, the fact that we haven't seen a rare version of this yet is kind of insane. Off-stream, I got this in, like, three tries for it to be rare. So sad. Come on, game. Be better than this. Apparently not. <laughs> we'll try for a little longer, chat, but this makes me so sad. The Arm Master there was okay. Oh, this is another one where if both of those were Gladiator, I would have taken that immediately. Ooh! Okay, I'll take this. Statistician, 38 Gladiator. I'll, I'll settle for this. Given how bad the RNG has been. So I'm gonna lose... Oh no, I have Arms Master already. Never mind, I don't lose anything then at all. Just enjoy the raw stats of the item. So I lose a little bit of SP, but we do go up quite a bit of attack here. 118 almost puts it in line with Love Belt. So I'm willing to continue with this. Obviously, it would have been ideal if the Gladiators were, like, both 30. That it would have been the same power as Love Belt. But you saw we were missing our damage by, like, just a little bit. So I'm going to take advantage of that. If I really need to, I'll go get another Love Belt. That also means... I can improve in Parameter. And I can improve Chris. That is a lot of int.
Okay, give them more health in case I want to unlock something later. Give them lethal knuckle. I don't think there's anything else I want from this. There we go. Now we're looking like we care slightly about these characters. Only slightly. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to give him health up. That way he can t take more damage in case I want my next unlock. You know what? This is for Rogue Nine. <laughs> Here you go, chat. We got nothing better to do. Why not? <laughs> I mean, 297 is not even that low. <laughs> Why not, chat? Uh, before we go further. Let us... Get a cheap heal. Another SP recover. That should be good. I should not need to worry about anything else. Of course, I innocents are bugged here and the OG innocents were always higher than they should be. That I'm not sure about. Let's go ahead and save. We are now level 64, which is pretty nice. Also, I should probably nurse myself up. So I counteract some of the defense loss from Love Belt, not that it super matters. Yeah, my, all my hit needed will be from this item, so I don't whiff that often. We roll pretty well on the, on this weapon at least. So I can make up for kind of other things. Okay, let's go here. We'll go to ten for cross point. Hey, Harley. I am Laharl, not Harley. You really don't have plans to invade the Earth? Earth is that rotten planet where humans foolishly pollute their own environment, correct? Why would I be interested in that? You may be right, but the Earth is still our home. That's why Gordon and I risk our lives to protect it. I always believed that was the right thing to do. I don't know what to believe in now. It doesn't seem like you're lying, Harley, but... I don't want to think that my fellow Earthlings are lying to me either. What makes you think I'm not lying? I am a demon. I can tell by looking into your eyes. I believe you because your eyes are pure. I don't know if it's pure good or pure evil, though. <laughs> huh, nonsense. That man's eyes, are they pure right now? Well, either way, we have to find Gordon and uncover the truth, or else something terrible might happen. I agree. At this rate, a war might erupt between the Netherworld and the Human World. We must prevent that. Huh? Why? It'd be fun. Oh, Etna. Etna? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> What's with you serious types? Chat, oops, all green. So, we could silence the whole battlefield. I'm not going to. <laughs> right, chat? Just, I'm gonna go with that. No. Alright, let's improve Wind Cutter. Let's buff our Braveheart abilities, since I need this if we want to do bonus content later. I don't think I needed to clear this stage, but I might as well just level this while I'm here. Literally no downside. Ooh, that looks like a fun group to Overlord it. Face away. That damage, though, chat. 
Well, if I want to get Testament later, it requires 300 deaths. So we're on our way there. I would like Testament if we're doing the uh, bonus stuff later. Hmm. Ooh, Parameter actually survived. Good job, Parameter. Might as well as merge them. That should be a very big damaging move. And thanks to Braveheart, we are definitely going to do enough damage. Technically, I could equip Etno with this if I really want to. Why not? Who cares? I don't need money at, the, at this point in the game anymore. I'm not going to purchase another upgrade. I don't think it's worth the time. As I said earlier, the weapon increases are kind of bad from what I was observing. Like, we're talking about, like, it only goes up 20 to 30 attack per weapon rank. So even if I expensive rank it up twice, it just kind of isn't worth it. <laughs> I guess the best way to put it. Like, it would just make more sense to save up for the million dollar item that it would be to buy a 400,000 one. Just because the difference between what we have now with Gladiator, which by the way is basically treating it as though it's two ranks higher, is just so much better. Than just getting the next shop upgrade. Primordial Soup. Science detected. Analyzing. It is Captain Gordon. Gordon's nearby? Gordon! Gordon! Where are you? <laughs> A familiar voice! Is that you, Jennifer? You must have been through hell, but have no fear, Captain Gordon is here! That's the hero? He's so cool! Juan, you got a wide strike zone. Gordon! Are you alright, Jennifer? Hm? Who are these children? How dare you call me a child! I am the Overlord! You? The Overlord? <laughs> Quit joking around. You haven't even gone through puberty. Hey, no fair, a cowardly trick, Overlord. It's about time you came to your senses. I, Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, shall put an end to your evil ambition of invading Earth. Please wait. Shut up, villainous. Villainous? Lahar, this rude stranger isn't a hero, nor is he defender of anything. Let's kick his sorry butt. Well, that didn't take long. We're in agreement this time, Flan. Listen, defender of Earth. If you can defeat me, I promise not to invade your planet. But if I win, then you agree to stay here in the Netherworld and become my vassal. How about it? Fine. A hero never backs down from a fight. Gordon, listen. No need to worry, Jennifer. 
I eat guys like him for breakfast. Thursday and I can handle this by ourselves. All you have to do is believe in Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, like always. Carl, no, we don't want him to fight for ownership of Thursday. Damn. <laughs> it's a deal then. Here I come, defender of Earth. Come on, Overlord. I'll protect the Earth at any price. Thursday, back me up. Me, me, blip, me, mission acknowledged. Well, we get to enjoy the theme very briefly. Chad, I got really bad news. Oh, we got a wand upgrade. I got really bad news. Um. He's only level 38, chat. <laughs> Some bad news. I might try to let them hit me once. We'll, we'll turn on enemy attacks. Maybe we'll get to see what they do. Let's send in the sacrificial pawns. Okay, so we're getting a good head start on Braveheart for later. I don't need Braveheart to beat the game to level up, but it'll help me, as I said before, for the bonus chapters. So rather than waste time doing stuff for bonus chapters, I might as well do it here. Um, sure. I'm going to give him a lot of targets. So our next threshold, if I want to get something, is 160 deaths. Which isn't too bad. That's like, what, seven maps or so from here? Because at most I could kill is nine per map. And I need to get about 50 or maybe about 40. Get how much we overshot it. But anyway. Let's see if they use any specials just for chat. And again, if they have more health, that goes towards another one. Um, I don't think I could throw them into each other, because they're... Well, I guess nothing technically stops me from trying. Yeah, we need to get more character deaths. Um, oh, Gantz will die. Die for the cause. Ooh. Range plus one because the staff improved. That's actually huge. You can see I got already buffed from a pretty good distance. So Imperimeter is getting a huge head start. Um, I think I'll go ahead and... <laughs> I like when I do this, they just bounce on each other. Hilarious. Game, please. Let's uh, hit him with this. Ooh, didn't one-shot him. That's fine. Did Imperimeter just face tank and live? Is that what I just- Oh, it was Gansel. Wow, Gansel face tanked and lived. That's just kind of embarrassing. Ha! Chat does- We barely even know who Gansel is. Like, come on. Come on, we'll try to improve his magic or whatever. I don't think it'll hurt him at all, but... I guess it's better than nothing. So what I want to do is probably summon Chris to get his proficiency up. Attack. You know what? If Chris was going to die in some way, it would be the Thursday. <laughs> I was going to say Chris approved method of death. Not quite a one shot, but that's fine. Attack. Perfect. We had basically the maximum number of characters die, more or less.
Might as well just let him kill him. Although I think... Actually, this might be end of chapter. I don't think it matters. In which case... Oh, wait, I forgot to write in my notes what end of chapter is. This is probably end of chapter. That's fine. We still got proficiency up, so I don't view that as a waste of time. And I got to level Meteor Impact. So yeah, I can probably upgrade one of your stabs for free. <laughs> How do you like that, hero? Taste the power of the Overlord! You've learned an important lesson today. Heroes don't always win! <laughs> oh no! What have I done? I have injured a human! I inadvertently... Inadvertently, my bot! Juan, lately you've been acting more and more like us demons, huh? N no, I haven't! But if the Seraph finds out... Seraph! Seraph Lamington, are you here? This is a serious matter! It is always a serious matter when you come here. What is it this time? Flon has killed a human in the netherworld! What? Flon killed a human? That's right! Even if she is a trainee, an angel harming a human is a grave sin. Is this forgivable? No! Such a sin cannot be forgiven! But still, that is odd. Why would a human be in the netherworld? W w well, uh, at any rate, I will make sure that Flan is mm -hmm. captured. I'll be using some of the troops. I have your permission, correct? Very well. I shall leave it to you, Vulcan. Yes, sir! Hmm. I never expected humans to interfere. Now then, how will he respond to this? Everything will be fine. The Seraph will understand that it was just a mistake. He surely will. You better hope so. Nice and simple chat. Captain Gordon, Jennifer, and Thursday are now under your command. There you go, chat. We have Thursday. Episode 9, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, and... Now that we have the Defender of Earth on our side, our space adventure... Hi, everyone. This is your hero, Captain Gordon. It won't be easy for Gordon... As all of you know, I am the 37th Defender of Earth. As the name suggests, it is my duty to defend the Earth. What lies ahead of- No matter what lies ahead, I swear on my honor and the name Defender of Earth that evildoers shall not escape. That is my mission. Next! Next on Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans. Look forward to my adventures! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha, my ass! Sure, we'll save the game. Making some pretty good progress. Gordon! Wash my shorts! What humiliation! The Defender of Earth working for the Overlord! I can't apologize enough to my predecessors! Hmm. You look unhappy! Don't tell me that a hero would break his promise now! No! A hero never breaks a promise! All I can do right now is endure this. As long as my faith does not falter, hope remains. I've got it. I'll just pretend to obey him. And when he lets his guard down, I'll escape back to Earth. All right. I just need to have patience. Good thinking, Gordon. Your eyes are full of hope. You're planning something, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not. I was just... Morning, Harley. I told you not to call me that! Why not? It's cuter that way. Etna and Flan are going to show me around the netherworld, and we're going to have a picnic. Why don't you come along, Harley? We made a great lunch. 
picnic? You must be joking, Jennifer. I, the defender of Earth, am working, and you, my assistant, are picnicking? But Gordon, today's Sunday. It's a day off for everybody. Well, that's true, but... Thursday, you'll stay here and work with me, right? Robots require rest, too. Thursday, we'll attend picnic with Jennifer. La, la, la. Hey, you traitor! There you have it, Gordon. We'll leave the chores to you. So, where should we go? It's your first time in the Netherworld. So how about the Sea of Gehenna? Why? It's so hot over there. What kind of a place is it? It's a big tourist spot. Since you're new to the Netherworld, you have to go check it out. Is there a souvenir shop around? Um, it's not exactly the kind of place that sells souvenirs. Well, if it's souvenirs you're looking for, try Sphinx's on Sacrifice Street. They've got nice mummy heads. See? Oh, how adorable. Hey, that's the Nether Year 666 Limited Edition model. I want one. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, today it's a picnic at the Sea of Gehenna, and tomorrow it's shopping on Sacrifice Street. Sounds like a plan. I'm in. Now I just plain pity you, Gordon. All right, we're going to the Sea of Gehenna. I will never, ever allow those women to go picnicking on their own. I guess she goes there in her off time, Plon. That's a great idea. We should do it. It's not like we'd be going on a picnic going la la la. Someone has to protect them. Right, let's go. <laughs> Here's my chance. I'll sneak off and escape during the picnic. Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans. Okay, let's take a look at their stats real quick. Coming at level 32. Ooh. Yeah, one thing that is kind of disappointing about Disgaea 1 is that everybody's aptitude is 100%, so a lot of the story characters are just kind of whatever. And then meanwhile, you have the super robot like this. <laughs> right, chat? Like, like, seriously? You want me to use this character over something like this? <laughs> like, okay. Like, just have 150 to everything, chat. This would just be good at everything. Except for resistance, I guess. So he's found it weird. Because, I mean, if you look at it, they're not that much better than regular brawlers. It's awkward. Yeah, I think we saw everything except for Robo Crush. I'll leave him with their equipment because I don't think it matters. Hmm. These are the defenders of Earth. Oh my god. Ford in the lion is speaking. Calm down, Jennifer. This is the netherworld. Lions can talk here. We... Humans can only live for about a hundred years. What a brief existence. It's not the length of your life. It's the density of it. Yeah, but you're dense in a different way. Damn, they got burned. Humans must be tougher than I thought if one can survive against you. How much fun picking on the weak. Let him off easy this time. That's all. Don't get the wrong idea. You're probably the only overlord ever to have humans and an angel as vassals. Rather humans that came to Netherworld, but not like these. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Oops. I did not mean to hit up on the D-pad. Well, at least I could confirm that we've read this. Recalling. Another fragment of my memory returned. It's a memory of when... The king died. Publicly, it was reported that the king died by choking on a black pretzel. But that's not the truth. Dun-dun-dun. Leave that story, too. Until my memory returned. The king's death was... That's right. The king left to halt an invasion from the alternate netherworld. When he came back, he had lost almost all of his power. I was willing to save him in exchange for my life. 
the way the queen saved the prince. But the king wouldn't allow it. He told me to live. Then... I can't remember the rest. Hmm... But I made an important promise. Something really important. Oops, nothing like forgetting an important promise. Anyway, time to hyperspeed walk everywhere. Look at us go. We just, we just like launch off the stairs. Right, chat? Like, we Look at that. <laughs> so silly. Angel assassin, an attack by humans. What has been happening lately? Well, thanks to my evil deeds. <laughs> so we're sitting at 125,000. So unfortunately, the next couple upgrades are like really far away. So I don't think we're realistically going to get it before we get to the bonus stages. So I need, I believe, 40,000 health loss. I need a total of 10,000 SPUs, which isn't the worst, and 160 deaths, which is inevitable. We need to get up to 300 for the bonus stages, so we're a third of the way of where I want to be if we're going to do the bonus stages. Um, let me rearrange slightly. There we go. I just want to make sure my mages are easy to access. I'm going to put Rogue 9 with the boots so that I don't forget who has the boots. That's actually worse than what we're using. Worse. Better. Worse. Okay. Well, at least everybody has a staff. So if I want to make another mage, I can. Or if I just want to give it back to Flan, I guess I could. I think this was hers originally anyway. So it just kind of went full circle, funny enough. Yeah, we have against the exits for later. Save here and continue. Picnic at the Sea of Gehenna, Prince. You are still quite childish. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna investigate the area. Picnic, picnic, la 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 la. So, you are going on a picnic. Sea of Gehenna. Fervent Melody. We'll call this 11 1 because I've been labeling the stages separately because I was trying to get an idea. I think there it goes up to 14. So if you so we're within basically three chapters of beating the game, Chad, if you want to think of it that way. We're actually pretty close. So this is the chapter I need Braveheart to be maxed by the end, hopefully. It's past a scheduled time and still no word from Gordon. Apparently, even the Defender of Earth was no match for the Overlord. He's not the real Defender of Earth. I like the guy's hair in combination with the ridiculous coat. <laughs> if you had just left it to me, I would have been done ages ago. Are you still carrying on about that? You need to be more insightful, Curtis. It doesn't really matter to me whether he wins or loses. His mission ended as soon as he opened up a route to the Netherworld. Slaying the Overlord was just a pretext. I know, he's pretty much like a Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist. Hmm, they're nothing but pawns to you, huh? He just needs like one more color in his hair and he'd be perfect. What an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. I prefer to call them the heroes who sacrificed their lives for the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon wouldn't die so easily. Only I, Curtis, can defeat him. I bet he beat the Overlord already and is enjoying a picnic right now going la la la. La la la. Ha 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 ha. I never thought that picnicking in the netherworld would be so delightful. Is this guy really a hero? I'm not really one to say, but I always thought a hero was a bit more dignified. This guy's just a fool. No, a true hero hides his real identity from the world, pretending to be quiet and weak. Then, when someone needs to be saved, he appears admirably to uphold justice. That's right, isn't it? Well, I... I guess... La la la! You sure? He looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. La la la! Oh, 
right. They're falling for my plan. Now, all I have to do is just play along until I can make a run for it. Your continued existence hinges on an incredibly unstable balance. Do you understand? I am aware of that. Then please, take better care of yourself. I would like to, but I cannot lead them on their own. My power is not limitless. Please do not forget that. Dot 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 dot. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hey, experience. Nice. So now almost every character should have what they need. So Chris is likely to get it. I don't know if Gansel will. But two of our four characters have it. I guess what I'll do is just lure them in. I have nothing better to do. Yeah, let's do that for now. This is pretty free experience. Oh. I left the animation on. My bad. Well, at least we get to see other moves, I guess, briefly. Did they almost kill their companion? Yeah, you can see why I turn animations off. It's neat seeing them once, but seeing that for like hours, eh. So unfortunately, they don't seem to have the thing where if you hold, I think it's circle or triangle, you can toggle between animations on and off if you want to see specific ones. Um. Oh, no lifting. Oh, I was about to throw them. How annoying. Ooh, level 66. Technically, I could train Chris's character or Imperameter to learn healing. Might as well just burn more SP. Again, it'll save me time in the future. Alright, so everybody summoned here can just get free XP. We'll summon... All of our mages. And then after that, it doesn't really matter if they get XP. We'll get Rogue 9 with extra. Technically, his levels matter. <laughs> Since it impacts Laharl. Sure, I'll give Planeer experience. Why not? I need some people at level 1, but I don't think it matters for the rest of the characters. Alright, we'll level the pig. Let's see how close this put people. Oh, Chris missed it by 100 XP. Brutal. Well, we're getting there. We still have more chances. There's one really good stage coming up. I was hoping to have it by then, but whatever. After that, I don't need to worry about bonus XP. Hey, what's wrong, master? You're not having fun? I thought kids loved picnics. The sky is blue. The weather is perfect. Come on, let's sing. I'm not a kid. I'm 1,313 years old. And mentally, I'm much more mature than you two. Mature? I think you two are about the same. For your information, I'm 1,470. Uh, barely young. Young? How old is young? Young is... Young! You're an angel, aren't you? Tell the truth! Dot dot dot. 1,509? What? You're older than me? <laughs> you old hag! I'm not old. That's amazing. No one would think you're that old. A mere baby, pretty much. <laughs> That's why humans act so foolishly. They judge solely on looks. Ooh, you talk big. Then you shouldn't mind my body, right? Uh, well, uh... I'm 
getting hungry. Let's eat. <laughs> Changing the subject, huh? I'll let it slide this time. Here's the picnic basket. On guard! Ah, the picnic basket! It has been a while, mademoiselle. The sweet smell of these entrees has led moi all the way here. Hey, mid-boss! Give us back our food! No, 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 no. I cannot oblige. For moi, a widower, this handmade lunch is like an oasis in a desert. I cannot give it back. I know, mid-boss is in this game a lot. <laughs> I don't even remember if this is his last appearance, but yeah, he, he we fight him a lot for a mid boss. You return after all this time and for a stupid reason like this, Mr. Mid Boss. You don't have anyone to make lunch for you, poor thing. Stop pitying moi. That sends a sharp pain to my heart. Hold it right there. Mid boss, was it? That picnic basket is mine. Give it back now. Hmm, you are human, are you not? That's right. They call me Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. And why is the Defender of Earth picnicking with demons? Sh shut up. I'm not here because I want to be. Very well. I shall test your resolve, oh Defender of Earth. Now, can you retrieve this basket from moi? <laughs> hey, you! Wait! It's so pathetic that we put up with that idiot! Hmm. Ooh, that's like a perfect wind cutter. Nothing of interest here. I keep pressing the, the shoulder buttons to teleport to the warp, but I'm like, oh, it's not in this game. Every time, chat, I can't undo it from playing too much Disgaea 2. Oh well. I guess I'll chain throw people. I got nothing better to do. It'll be like one... One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So I think I get one, two. If I go here, do one, two, three, four, toss, toss, toss? Actually, I don't think it matters. I basically just need to get on the other side of them. That's the important thing. satisfying. Goodbye, our party members. Look at that, chat. We're almost halfway through the number of character deaths we need to do the the, the bail challenge slash bull. We're, we're getting there. Love our abilities. We should get another one when our sword rank hits 15. We haven't unlocked everything yet. It's a lot of enemies. Oh, that would have been another really good wind cutter. I was closer. Yeah, wind cutter is better than blade rush in terms of damage. Hurricane slash actually is our. You put me to sleep, seriously? That's actually really bad. Right, Dad, that's... that's really annoying, actually. Well... We have some counters to this, it just means I wasted a turn, basically. Hmm... Let's do this and lure them closer. Okay, 
it's not XP this one. This is step before. I still need to power up. Oh, three parts at two, so that character is ready. Our meter might survive this, maybe. Ooh, a 4x4, four four, or a 2x2. Two two. I'm gonna say, Imperimeter's staff training is definitely getting up there, already ranked 3. I could just summon Chris and Gansel just to get their staff usage up. Nothing wrong with doing that. They need to eventually become strong. Because the higher level I am, the further away I can remain from the protagonist and still apply things. Technically, I can also teach him some other abilities, but right now I don't need to worry about that. That was very strong. Oh, the lucky survivors will continue buffing each other. I almost mega fired myself. That would have been something. So we're just feeding kills at this point. If that had put me to sleep, I would have been so tilted. You have no idea, chat. Having enhanced magic boost is not a bad thing, in case we get a super staff while playing. But right now, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as I said before, I, I don't really... Th the most I might expensive item up is if I want to get better healing items. That's literally it. Alright, since we hit exactly 125 deaths, we unlocked Frog Sweat, which is a healing item, so I might as well as take it. Hmm. That muscle fight is not as good as I thought it was. Also, I'm noticing these characters are actually fairly tanky. They could end up being decent decoys, especially in the item world. Do we pass the most powerful zombie? I think so. We we did the zombie capture, if that's what you mean. Let's go to 11-3. Ah, uh, This is the stage I thought we were at earlier. Yeah, chat, look at this chat. Attack plus one, enemy boost times three. How annoying. If we look over here, the enemy boost is in the corner, so we just gotta reach the corner. Alright, so that should get me close enough, because Laharl can move the rest. Actually, before we do that, the smart thing to do... to get all of our buffing characters out before we throw. As I said before, I want to get our proficiency up for later. Well, if he actually learned any magic, he would be in a pretty good state right now. And simple kill. No longer triple statted. Saw Vetna throw people around. Give me a little bit of a trip. Thanks to our buffs earlier, we're actually in a pretty good position. There we go. If we need to clear out the item world at lower levels, we need to unlock something. That'll help. Might as well as raise their magic boost as well. There we go. I 
actually. Let's just throw him with that Nah. To put me in kill range, I think. One shy. Damn. I do this. There we go. We got there eventually. We got a gun. Too bad I don't really care about guns. Uh, I technically didn't have to go back to the nurse there. We did not use enough SP. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of healing and fairy dust still relatively useful in our playthrough. Let's go to Searing Tyranny. Hmm, where did our lunch go? Let's go home. This is pointless. I agree. We can't leave now. We woke up early just to make it. That's right. As defender of Earth, I cannot let our food fall into the hands of evil. You're just hungry. What are you talking about? This is a challenge by evil! I cannot turn my back on this ordeal! Justice must prevail! How wonderful! You really are a hero! Gordon, let's have Thursday search for the basket using our olfactory tracking device. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! Thursday, can you pinpoint the location where the picnic's lunch's smell originates? Beep, beep, lip, beep, no problem, Jennifer. Beep, beep, lip, beep, analyzing air components. Small traces of scent confirmed. Beep, beep, lip, beep, factoring in wind vectors. Projected coordinates lie in the area up ahead. Thanks, Thursday. Hey, guys, the culprit is up ahead. That robot could do stuff like that, too? Pretty useful. Of course. Thursday is a multi-purpose super robot, and the creator of Thursday is none other than Jennifer. She was a child prodigy who invented Thursday at the age of five and earned a PhD in every subject by the age of ten. Without her help, we would never have understood the secrets of the pyramids or solved the case of Jack the Tripper. So, why are you bragging? That's incredible, Miss Jennifer. It's nothing, really. I thought you were just a dumb blonde, but I guess I was wrong. Hmm. Who is the one saying not to judge people by their looks, Harley? Uh, did I say that? Anyways, we have to get the basket back before Midboss eats it all. <laughs> You're right. Let's go. Damn, we got called out. Ooh. I forgot to pick him up. That was a mistake. I forgot to pick him up. Oops. <laughs> My bad, chat. I hit end turn by accident. Uh, I gotta restart. My bad. I totally forgot to pick him up. <laughs> that was just being, me being dumb. Oh, no, I didn't save in between. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. So no matter what, I had to restart. That sucks. Yeah, definitely my bad. I got greedy, and then I just was not thinking. It's past the scheduled time, apparently. Even My bad. He's not the real. The view had just left it to me. Are you still carrying on about that? Yeah, I was like, if I just picked him up, I could have actually gotten the super kill. Hmm. They're nothing but what an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. <laughs> Gordon, only I. I bet he beat the Overlord. All I also forgot to skip story, which was a mistake. I blame that on not feeling that well. I still kind of feel out of it, to be honest. I'm not really one to say. This guy's just. Fortunately, there's nothing we really need from this early chapter stuff. That's right, is it? Well, since we already got everything I need. Sure. He looks. Alright. Now all I have to do. Yeah, my bad. I also thought I saved in between. I mean, that's how it's faced out. I was. I thought I saved already. Unfortunate. Well, this is now a problem because I'm not going to have uh, as much XP as before. Uh, annoying.
annoying. Whatever. As I said before, there's other chances for me to get XP. Also, I forgot we saved with the animations off. I made the same mistake as last time, twice. My bad. Man, oh man, chat, I wish you could skip it with a button. Yeah, I'll probably call it after this one then, because I'm not feeling the best. I was planning on going to 12, but I feel like I'm not focused, which is kind of a problem in a game that requires focus. Something like this. Means I have to do all the staff mastery stuff again. That is so annoying. Alright, well, I could still at least use Braveheart more. <laughs> Trying to kill the other characters, cute. have him go back inside. Yeah, or at least I should stop at chapter 12 and not bother going for, er, 12-1, I mean. Okay, let them come over here, let them move again. Super unfortunate. Let us get as many buffs in as we can, so I don't need to do this again later. Just make me sad I ended some progress, but can't do anything about that. Two meteor impact here. Yeah, the more range they have, the easier it is for me to complete other stages. Yeah, as I said before, at least we don't need to purchase anything, or we got all the RNG out of the way. Skip the story. Yeah, this is the one where I felt like I messed up a little bit. So we get another shot at it, I guess. So either way, Chris didn't hit level 12, so it doesn't change our strategy too much here. Now we're just getting fancy. <laughs> I think this was done correctly. So maybe... Oh, this is fun. Oh, those enemies are still grouped up. Also doesn't matter. Let's do... I think it's Slayer to get rid of them. Good, come over here. See what they do. Nice. There we go. So we're gonna end up with another item and less XP, which I don't think super matters, as I said before. This is not the area that I want to level. We just have some opportunities to get it. It would be nice if we had it. But I could win with just two brave hearts. More worried about this stupid auto attacker here. I think we're good. And we took damage on purpose. Perfect. Now we can kill all these real quick. 
You know what, if he wants to live, I could combine and get some extra XP. Why not? Wow, I can even wound them before they get combined. Perfect. Assuming... Yeah, that one's higher level anyway. I could do something like lift. Get a little extra XP while we're here. Again, the more staff magic levels we have, the better. There we go. And Paramount Mayor's still at three. Cancel just hit one. Chris hit one a little above one, which is good. Nice kill. Bonus hell is probably the most pointless of the rewards we could get at this point. I mostly just want bonus XP. There's Frog Sweat again, not that it matters. We'll save again. So this time I think I'm one level higher to combine the dragons. Not that it really matters. Close. At some point I might have to reset until we get a better bonus. I was hoping we don't have to do that in the playthrough, but as long as we get it in one of the upcoming stages. There is a stage where I basically have to do a geo puzzle to delete it. That'll be the level. I cannot go past that point without Quadruple Braveheart, or else it'll just go too slow. Uh, so I think what I want to do is something like this. So I might reposition our characters, so that way my best throwers are kind of all grouped together. Just because, like, I do think Gordon's ability to move six spaces is pretty huge. Oh, oops. I think I did it from here last time. And we know that we need to move closer to throw him. After he does this... Oh, we didn't kill that time. Oh, because I didn't Braveheart before doing that. Mm. That's fine. We will move him over here. And then we'll throw him next turn. Yeah, you can see our damage is already falling off. Which is kind of crazy given how attack focused we are. Whatever. Buff and parameter here. And throw Laharl closer. Hmm. Do I think I could kill with this? Is he weak to fire? Oh, he's resistant to fire. I was gonna say, I was wondering if a parameter could kill him, because it's. His resistance is actually insanely high. What the heck is this? Huh. Yeah, that right there would kill a solo run unless you were power leveling. 1200 resistance is kind of insane. Alright, well, we gotta go back over here, I guess. Alright, so let's see if we can get in range of buffs. Perfect. Thanks to Imperameter's range, she should always be able to buff now. Now, just need the other two to slowly get better at their own stuff. In case they want to buff multiple mages. 
But for now, do something like this. Get this all out of the way. Yeah, we'll try again on the other stage. I had the right idea, just brain just blanked. I don't even think it was a miscalculation. It was like, all I had to do was lift him and I would have been fine. So I'm going to do basically the same strategy. Now, unfortunately, we are getting weapons, which I don't care about. I don't even think they're worth selling either. I'd prefer to get boots if it's going to give me something or glasses for in and pretty much nothing else at this point. Yeah, I don't care about bonus XP at the moment. Um, I just wish it didn't... Oh, I wish there was a way to do this without having Diagonal Throw. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, I'm only getting messed up because I'm using a mechanic the game doesn't really fully support. Where, like, me doing that swivel, if there's a way I can stop it from whiffing, I guess, like I did last time, maybe that'll work. I'll keep my six move for now. Because I think I did the beginning portion of this correct. I just need to actually not drop the diagonal. So I might need to do something like... Now I think if I... Wait, hold on. If Does 7 movement reach that? Not quite. I think it matters who I throw it into here. If I have seven movement... Oh, wait. If I have seven movement to do this, can I force it to not throw there? I guess that's the question I have. Yeah, maybe that'll work. I'll get it eventually, chat. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That is far more annoying than that should be. Lift you, throw you out of the way. And this time I can actually hit the demon. I still have two characters left over. I can lift up Laharl and then hit the other guy. I think that'll work. That's already less damage I have to do when they merge again, which is big. Move Laharl here to make it easier for the next round of people to buff. And now I have the proper amount of space. Oh no, am I out of six movers? Out of six movers. Um, that was also a mistake. <laughs> I don't know, chat. Maybe I have to call it after this. I'm feeling way more out of it than I realized. Yeah, like, I have to restart on that. Okay, sorry about this, chat. We're gonna finish on this chapter. I don't even think I'm gonna bother going further. I feel like I am just too not thinking about things to make the right decisions. Vampire can't lift, though, to my knowledge. Because it's a monster. That's the annoying part. Only humans can lift it. So I think what I had to do was actually lift with a mascot here. Yeah, that's why it's more annoying than it looks. <laughs> There's like, I have a very tight window. I can throw people and that's about it. I think I could do this to spare some of my super throw characters. And this should be fine. Like, she can't walk that distance. There we go. Yeah, I think that was the play before. So now I should have enough movement six to complete what I wanted to do before. Um. Is 
there a different way I can do this so that they end up closer? Oh, let me think. So if I lift him out of the way, then I could... Oh, actually, yeah, this would work better. Yeah, this would work a lot better, actually. That would drive me less crazy. Then I just come over here, lift you. Which does waste a character, but that's fine. And now I can pick up the monster and still get some buffs. Yeah, that was a much- okay, that is what I should have done the first time. That was much better without diagonals. We can actually get a couple of buffs in now. We're just one buff. I gotta lift him up. I guess it just depends on what I hit him with. Hmm. I could throw myself and then move out of the way if I want to. Thinking about it. So if I do that, then I have enough to hit and then lift. Whatever. Alright, let's have some of our other people move out of here. So we need to lift you, throw you here, and just have another character. Probably not one of our. The flan pick it up. There we go. And I can always put them in the proper position when I'm done. This also means that Gordon is now over here, so that might speed up the turn order a little bit. So if he stays over here, they should approach him. Because I think the other problem, too, is they were kind of going in a roundabout way. So let me leave them, like, right here. So that way I don't have to move as much either. Braveheart, and Braveheart again. So now with those buffs, I can proceed to do something like this. So we got another hit on him, which is nice. I'm gonna put these characters away. I could leave Jennifer closer so she can grab them. Not a bad idea. I just want to make sure the AoE spells don't hit the other characters. But this character I can also put away safely. This character I can put away safely. So yeah, I can almost start gathering them. Another two buffs. I don't know why I walked out of range on that. I'm really not thinking. My brain is definitely off chat, I'm sorry. Yeah, see I cancelled it so I don't even get to Braveheart. Oh man, I am just not awake today. Um... I don't think this impacts very much at the moment. What I can do is... Over here, lift... Oh, that doesn't work. I mean, I can... If I could get them into this character, I think I'm good. Yeah, it's like I need a couple more characters over here, I think. And the problem is, is I canceled their attack, so I don't even get the benefit of the ability. That character's there. At minimum, I could do this. That is so risky to do. Like, oh yeah, that's that's too risky. I'm not gonna go for it. I could throw this guy all the way back here. The odds of him doing something useful are pretty low. Let them come in a little bit more.
Yeah, right now I'm blocking off their passageway. So it's a question of if I think Jennifer can survive. not the end of the world. Alright, so they're all lined up now. Using a character there does kind of suck, but I think I could do this at least. So now I have two characters for two throws. I can potentially still buck with Imperimeter. And I still have a character that can lift up the other target. So this is good. And then I can make them end their turn here, which is huge. Alright, let's execute first. So that way I don't cancel my buffs. And we're gonna do Hurricane Slash. So I wish I had one more buff character. And then depending on who's left alive, I can potentially get one more upgrade. I think that's all I could do for now. So these two should walk into range. And then if I'm not certain I can reach, I can do something like this. Try to guarantee the hit. But I think I got this no matter what. I should have enough characters left over to get the XP. Oh, that is... Not at all how I thought they were going to move. That's actually super annoying. Why did they do that? None of them wanted to attack Gordon? Hmm. That is... annoying. I think I could still group them up. It just means... If I merge them here... I could still do this. I was not expecting them to move like that. That really threw me off. I thought they were going to attack because they could. I guess they sensed the other character? Ugh, I don't like the... I mean, like, if this character goes random movement, I don't think this actually matters. It's just more making sure that these two get combined. And then I protect the protagonist. So maybe this is fine? Is there a way I can do this and still have it be useful? I have two characters left. I was hoping to throw them into this target, but they went literally opposite directions. Um, hmm. We have our best thrower here. Just a question of, like, these, these two will not kill anything, but it makes it longer to reach the target. So in theory, I could throw you here. Pick up somebody to protect the protagonist, and I'd still have enough. Could force them to be here. I would have loved to have thrown them on there, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I, the question is just where to put them to recover from this. Find the DS version, can't even diagonal throw on that version. Welcome, Rogue Nine. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how to recover from this. I had like an awkward Braveheart fail. Um, Which also I think is not a thing in the complete version. If you walk out of range of the later games, it actually just cancels your move. So I'm also getting used to Disgaea 1 jank. Um, Like in theory, I can make that diagonal throw. I don't think it's worth doing though. 
So I guess I can... I throw here, lift here. like being down this many characters is the problem. I would let the other guy roam. Hope this doesn't kill Jennifer? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, that that's fine. Alright, so if I need to sacrifice somebody, Gordon can take the hit. We can put one of our characters away. The question is, do I think I could kill that? I don't think I can. What we're gonna do, since I know I... I'm pretty sure I cannot kill that. I will Braveheart right now. Alright, so we need two more turns to kill. I could do that. Yeah, sadly, missing that damage actually mattered. We're gonna Braveheart again. Hmm, they're in kind of an awkward spot. Move back a little bit. So I'm not going to be able to get the bonus XP from this, but I will get a lot of levels. Do, like, Overlord's Wrath, I think. So, should die next turn. Alright, so I have exactly one character left. I guess I could try to level Chris. We'll have a magic boost himself. I mean, they shouldn't not kill at this point. Yeah, the enemies have very weird priorities. On the plus side, because I did that, our hell total is very funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm helping. Yeah, actually that works. Good. Now I don't have to hit that awkward scenario again where I don't have enough Braveheart users. That's a hilarious amount of cash, by the way, that I don't need. Oh, look, everything combos in D5, so like using heal buff before execute. It technically combos in this game too, but... Disgaea 1 bonus gauges are not as lenient as some of the later games, for sure. Let's go to Inferno. I might as well as clear the chapter. gluttonous bunch you are, following Moa all this way. Give it up. I swear by the name Defender of Earth that I'll get that basket back. <laughs> you are going to get hurt if you think that I am your average picnic basket thief. Very well. I shall demonstrate for you humans the elegant techniques of the Dark Adonis. Whoa. So bright. Shoot, at this rate, we'll lose! Gordon! <laughs> I was gonna say, nothing stops you from buffing the enemy. It's hilarious. It's disrespectful, but very funny. Jennifer, Thursday, let's give it a go! Just in boost all the melee characters before they die. To protect the Earth from evil! There is no rest for the Champions of Justice. Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, here to save the day! This isn't good! Maharo, Etna, they're stealing the show! Well, I don't really care. You should. We're 
joining in. What? You serious, Flan? I'm no longer ordinary Flan. I'm Guardian Flan. All right, here we go. As long as evil exists in the world, this elegant angel will soar the skies. You've been in training, Flan. Something like that. of interest from the shots. I'd merge them all into mid-boss. I might merge some, but not that many. I think we're gonna kill quite a few first. The level-wise, we didn't go up too many levels. Despite that 100% XP, but... Yeah, chat, do you like that? We killed, like, a level 300-something. We barely went up, like, four levels. Whatever game. Ooh, interesting. Well, time to lure the enemy, I guess. Oh, staff mastery is too low. Chris might die getting this buff. But this is why we just gotta keep leveling their staff proficiency. In case I forget to do the buff early. Alright, hers is actually pretty good. Let's do this then. Use up her SP a bit more. Yeah, now our damage should be pretty good. Rip protagonists. Alright, so let's get the last little buffs that we need. Now all we need to do is basically just meteor impact them. Uh, I'm gonna line them up a little more. Move our characters a little out of harm's way. Make the enemy work for this. Hmm. I guess if they go there, it's not too bad. It doesn't hurt to weaken mid-boss, because I don't think I can one-shot him. Nothing else that's just kind of free XP. Warden is actually surprisingly tanky. Might just be able to kill this character as is. should survive. Planeer will not. Let's end our turn. They should not attack Laharl at all. Here. Yeah. Wow, I am surprised they reached the mages from there. I'm not gonna lie. That's unfortunate. Warden, however, becoming tanky is kind of funny. Um... I think I need some of the merge down a little more. There's no bonus XP here, right? Yeah, there wasn't. Something like this. Now I just need some of the other characters moved around a bit more. I 
a little risky to make him too strong, because he's actually decently stouted. I might just merge him one more time. Fill those outright. Oh, he's gonna waste his time doing a normal attack on Gordon? Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting the enemies get really big AoE attacks that are not normally a thing here. If all he's doing is that much damage, I'm not that worried. I hurt a little bit. Speaking of which, <laughs> we're gonna have Rogue Nine heal me. I need to do some healing items anyway. Get rid of you. Just in case he has an AoE attack. Oh, he, he chose not to hit me. Well, chat, we call that bait. <laughs> right, chat? That is some good bait. Mmm. Love AI manipulation. Rogue Nine MVP right now <laughs> with the boots. <laughs> the trolling is real. He's trying. Well, at least we figured out the AI chat. What do you think? I, I, I think it feels... Oh, actually, that's not where I want to go. I want to go over here. Make you walk further. Seven movement too strong, chat. Thank you, Rogue Nine. For one hit from death. GG. Yeah, the enemy just got hard trolled. To be an okay amount of levels. Look at that hell bonus, though. I mean, at this point, maybe I should pass a bill. I mean, I now have enough that maybe it would be worth doing. Again. Now give back the picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I have already consumed the contents. You fiend, how dare you? That means this duel is a draw. We shall meet again. My compliments to the chef. <gasps> Our lunch! Oh, it's okay. We can always make it again. Jennifer's right. Lunches are expendable. Which reminds me, I haven't had Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza in a long time. Uh, now then, since this is all over, we'll be heading back to Earth. There's no need to shed any tears. So long, people of the netherworld. You go, Gordon. Take it nice and easy. No one, not even a demon, can deny a man his pizza shack teriyaki pizza. Now, nah, if I can just return to Earth and act like nothing ever happened. You know, I could care less about you leaving, but how do you plan on getting out of here? Huh? No! Now that you mention it, our spaceship is in pieces. There you go, chat. Captain Genius. We have no way of getting home. Gordon, you just realized that? Jeez Louise. Oh, my perfect plan. Too bad, Gordon. Your mate is to be my vassal. Oh. Will we ever be able to return to Earth? Ludana questioning teriyaki pizza. It is very demonic sounding. Who will defend the planet now? Will my duty as defender of Earth go unfulfilled? Oh yes, I have an idea, Mr. Gordon. Why don't you change from defender of Earth to defender of the Netherworld? What? I... 
I could never do that. Oh, come on, Gordon. The Earth isn't the only world. Our duty is to safeguard peace, whether it be on Earth or in the Netherworld. Hmm. But that title doesn't sound right. Fine! I'll give you a good title. In the name of King Laharl, I knight thee, Slayer of the Netherworld! Hey, wait. That's not any better. I promoted you for being a vassal. Quit complaining. Does that mean we can stay here, Harley? Your unusual abilities. They'll come in handy as I take control of the Netherworld. Oh, I'll try to tolerate that sexy body of yours. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear the word tolerate come from his mouth. Well, that's as close to acceptance as he gets, right? Of course, it could just be that he started liking sexy bodies. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. All's well that ends well. It's not well. This is a dream. It must be a dream. Somebody tell me it's a dream. And that's how these people were welcomed into King Laharl's court. I know I helped the demons get the humans on their side. But these days, I'm not so concerned about that kind of stuff. I hope one day all angels, demons, and humans can live happily together just as we do. So 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans, and there you go, chat. There's your moral of the story. With the EDF Armada steadily advancing, it's up to me to protect the netherworld. <laughs> what can a little girl do? Mega Curse Cannon! Anything in the air is toast! Hmm. Not bad. Circle! Nothing can get past this baby! Ugh! Impossible! And the ultimate weapon! Love Free Flawn! With her idealistic notion of peace and love, she'll annoy you into submission! Ugh, how dreadful! Next on Legend of the Netherworld Heroine Episode 11, Etna versus EDF. Another page in the Netherworld's history. We can't just sit here. All forces, move out! There we go. We apparently just got an achievement. I heard the thing click. Finally, the time has come. If we don't secure the Netherworld in this battle, the Earth won't last another 100 years. Capturing the Netherworld, that's our only means of survival. That is correct. Dun dun dun. Your, is there something you want? No. I just came to make sure that you weren't backing out of this. There you go, Chad. It was Volcanus all along. I think the first time I played, I really wondered if it was just Volcanus in a different disguise for General Carter. We're preparing to launch the attack. Our fleet of space carriers was constructed using the most advanced technology. And it turns out his hat just has, like, a wig. If your information is correct, then there's no way we can lose. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm counting on it. That angel, what does he hope to gain giving us information about the netherworld? No, now is not the time for second guessing. The Earth is breathing its last breath. All ships, prepare for takeoff. Earth Defense Force, move out! Heroes will, overlords will. Not good. To give you an idea, Chad, I was double checking. It costs 1.1 million hell to get the shop rank 12 belt. I think right now we can only get up to 8, which would be spirit belt, which is not worth it. 150,000 for a 20 attack increase. Big yikes, chat. Not worth it.
Gonna do side quests, not in the main playthrough, maybe when we're done. This is a challenge run after all. Not good. Not good. It's not good, Chad. This is not good at all. Yeah, I feel like if we're gonna do all the side quests, I will probably just get a level 9999 9, monster. Which should probably take like an hour and a half to two hours. And then it'll just be like literally nothing but side quests. If I want to go that route. I must find a way to return to Earth. At this rate, I'll have no choice but to accept the job as Slayer of the Netherworld. The big problem is more... It's not that I can't unlock them with their current team. It's just that there's, there's no way I could reasonably kill a level like 2000 monster with Laharl right now. There's just... It, it would require too many hours, so it's just faster to get a monster for it. Hmm. Is there any way? But maybe the early ones. I could try winning with just Laharl, but we won't get very far in the optional stuff if I do that, though. Oh, yeah! The EDF! When I don't return according to schedule, they'll surely come to rescue me! Oh, boy, the EDF. All right! Hooray of hope! The Earth Defense Force chat. Hey! Was that supposed to be you talking to yourself? I could hear every word you said. Gordon, do you really think the EDF will come to rescue us? Of course I do. I have faith in them. Prince! Prince! What? Something wrong? You've received a challenge. What? From who? Get ready for this. It's from the Defender of Earth. What did you say? That's strange. I don't remember writing a challenge. What's it say? I am the Defender of Earth. I have finally found you, evil overlord. The time has come to settle the score. Come to the forest of the dead. There you shall meet your doom. see what level we are now. 77, not bad. Our weapon mastery has, like, gone into, like, the negatives. We were getting stuff unlocked so quickly, and then just nothing. Can't think of a topic of conversation, so please take this. Try this with all the stronger enemy builds maxed. Oh, yeah, that's a big problem with the original Disgaea one. There's like 20 bills you have to pass, and there isn't like a strongest bill all in this version of the game. So if I want to do that, I have to pass 20 bills in a row, and you've seen how annoying that is, chat. <laughs> Let's all be honest, I nobody wants to sit there and watch me reset until all 20 go through there. <laughs> it is it is more annoying than it should be. Received the vile brilliance. Well. Oh, it's a spear. That's not what I would have thought it was. But sure, I guess I could give it to Edna. Why not? Venom World is a never-ending dungeon. Have you been to the bottom? Actually, we have. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I might actually just put some tank items on these characters if I have any muscles left. Oh, I don't. That's unfortunate. Sure, we'll give her back a gun. Why not? Demons don't wash their hands after going to the bathroom. It's custom. Is that so? I wash my hands. Yeah, but it's still really tedious. That's what I'm saying. It's not like I can't do it. It just means like it takes an hour. <laughs> it's not really all that exciting. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I have a 0% interest in grinding in Disgaea and all other related games. Nor do we need to grind to beat the game. If I want to do the bonus content, it's more about monster merging than it is leveling. Those born as good for nothings will be worthless forever unless they transmigrate. But don't But don't you think that raising them to be their best makes them truly makes you a truly superb mentor? Not really. 
Are there other defenders of Earth? Well, not really. I'd be happy if there were. I would never be bored. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Let's do the promise. I remember now. It's one of my dearest memories. The words the king left me, left with me on his deathbed. Raise my son to be the next overlord. Those were his dying words. And in the end, made a promise to the king that it protect the prince. The king worried about the prince until the very end. I hated the prince. I envied the prince. But that was my promise to the king. I must keep my word. I vowed in my heart to do so. Yeah, like, I think if I want to do a full clear of the game, based off of play hours, I could probably do it in, even with cutscenes, probably 25 hours. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people play this game, I'll say, excessively. I don't really think you need to. Like, we still have, like, another four hours of cutscenes. The rest would just be other abilities. I'm just making sure I didn't accidentally get a friendly fire kill. So technically, we've only been playing on this file for nine hours, and we're almost done. I think it just depends on how much RNG... I think real-time it'll take longer. Is that a, another Defender of Earth? You're so popular. Of course! Uh, I might get some healing. One of these, one of these... Get one more flan. I could put most of this away. 130 is okay. We probably need to burn it at some point. Let's see, we have all the healing I would ever need. Lahar all alive, and I have a lot of SP ups. We should be good. Out of curiosity, even though we don't need to heal. 129 deaths. Oh, we gotta get so many more if I want to kill Bale. I need Testament, because Testament will cut out, like, at least, no joke, like 15 hours of gameplay. The reason being is that it's a high rank item, so I can use it to go as deep as I need to go. And then on top of that, it's still pretty decent at stats. So, I could basically use it twofold. I could reset it until it's rare. I haven't thought about if it's required or not. I might play around when we get to that point, but right now it's not high on the priority list. Uh, do I feel up to continuing? That's the question I have right now. I mean, at least I don't really have... Like, I have notes for what I would want to do in the other areas. Basically, three of these levels, I don't really care about XP. This one, I could XP up. We are a decent level, at least. Rinse, hear that a hero challenged you to a duel. That's right. I'm on my way to beat him right now. The forest of the dead, right? I will open the gate right now. Hmm. <laughs> can't wait to see who. Can't wait to see who this hero is. Hey, Gordon. Could that challenge have been written by Curtis? Curtis. Now that you mention it, you might be right. Who's this Curtis? Curtis is the other defender of Earth. The other Defender of Earth? There's more than one of them? No. The true Defender of Earth is Gordon. Curtis calls himself the Defender of Earth and tries to steal work from under us. But as much as I hate to admit it, he has managed to save the Earth on a few occasions. That's why you could say there are two Defenders of Earth right now. Hmm. Sounds complicated. It worked out fine in the end, since one has become the Slayer of the Netherworld. Worked out fine? This is not fine! I work for the Earth, not the Netherworld! The Overlord, I finally found you. Today I'll fulfill my sworn duty. But first, I'll test your strength. I'm counting on you, my friends. Hmm? I sense something nearby. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Unknown biorhythms detected. Danger, danger, danger. 
Yeah. So this is another leveling area, because this should just be XP up. Yep. So, like, I could merge them. I don't really need to. I might merge, like, a few of them, but I think I'm gonna probably just kill some of them. Just outright. So if I manage to move this guy in the middle out of the way, I'll just dunk on him real quick. So I could do something like this. Kill a majority of these enemies. Leave him up for now. Question is, how do I want to go about this? Do we need one person to move Etna? This log is in the way, which is a little bit annoying. Could do something like this. Throw him over here. gonna die in here. This is more for money. I don't really need XP, I think, to beat the game at this point. As long as I play the stages normally, I should be fine. And I should be around a level 100 if I don't do anything else. I'll still probably squeeze a couple more XP points in. This is probably, like, the last major one. might have Rogue Nine lift this guy and throw him, but I want to see if there's anything else I could do before proceeding. Move Etna out of the way. Well, that is a... That is a dangerously terrible diagonal. I don't like that. I could combine this guy and this guy on diagonal. Work with me. You've got to be kidding me. I did it too early. Well, I don't like diagonal throws in the early games. That's just a thing you could do later on, by the way, Chad. You don't have to do that in the later Disgaea games. Alright, that's fine. What I can do, though, is... Probably just lift you out of the way for now. Whatever. As I said before, I don't really need bonus levels. I could get it if I want to. I'm surprised they did not hit the person that was holding up somebody. But whatever. Okay, so with that I should be able to do this. And I should be able to move you in. Move here. Lift you. The odds of me doing 2,000 damage, probably not super great. on the other side, which might make more sense. I just grip them afterwards. I think that just makes sense. That way I could get my players killed. Oh, when do I get this level? I'm not sure what that was in reference to. I was talking about uh, 9999s. I'm not going to do that in the main playthrough, if that's what when that was asked. When we beat the game, I'll go do it. It's not hard to do. It's just... There's just a couple areas I gotta unlock. Oh, this one? This one's on 12-1. Uh, so, episode 11 of uh, the Forest of the Dead. Thank you. 
it's not bad. I, I think by the time you get to this place, though, unless you've been really skipping out on upgrades, you could probably just do cave and board deals by now. Even in a normal playthrough, you could probably do it. Let's do two of these. Hurricane Slash. I think this should kill. Did not kill. Well, that's why we had a backup character. Lift. Let's make sure Chris's Brave Heart gets used more. And we'll hit with Meteoric Impact, I think, afterward. Yeah, I'm gonna burn as much SP as possible, because that saves me time later. We'll take that. Yeah, we now have a hilarious amount of cash, by the way. There's... I literally don't want to purchase anything unless it's, like, literally 1.1 mil or more. So we're almost at the point I would consider using the expensive item bill again. Not that I intend to. And we're at level 79, which is pretty good. Forest of the Dead, let's go to Rising or Rising Fear and Forest of the Dead. Overlord, prepare yourself, Curtis. Take this. Look out, Captain. Uh oh, they hit Thursday chat. Thursday. You're not Curtis. Who are you? Are you aware of who you're dealing with? I am Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Wait, Gordon! What? The Defender of Earth? What would the Defender of Earth be doing here in the company of the Overlord? Oh, well, it's a complex situation. He's my vassal! He lost to me in battle, so I made him my slave. His new name is Slayer of the Netherworld. What was that? The Defender of Earth is now the Overlord's vassal? S sir How shameful! How disgraceful! The Defender of Earth has sunk so low. Hey! You haven't heard the whole story. Besides, you haven't even introduced yourself yet. Me? I'm Don Joaquin, the original Defender of Earth. The original Defender of Earth? That old man sounds fishy to me. No, it may be true. My father used to tell me about him. Hundreds of years ago, the first Defender of Earth left for the Netherworld to vanquish the Overlord and never returned. But how is he still alive? Compared to the typical human lifespan, he should have passed away a long time ago. That's probably his soul. He probably couldn't rest in peace until he defeated the Overlord, so his soul remained behind. Why? There's only one thing. It's his duty as a hero. He's starting to sound like you, Prince. I'm so touched. The idea of him still struggling to fulfill his duty, transcending time, a true defender of Earth. I'm proud to follow in his footsteps. But I don't think an old man like that could defeat the Prince even in a thousand years. Yeah, I see your point. But we have to help him. We can't just leave him like this. Hey, love freak, you're not trying to force your beliefs on me again, are you? Bingo! Next time we run into him, let's lose on purpose. That way, he'll finally be satisfied and his spirit will ascend to heaven. Don't be ridiculous. I have a duty to fulfill, too. I can't lose on purpose. Why? Is that a big deal? Are you that selfish? 
astonished that you can't even save a poor hero's soul? Shut up! This is between me and him, so stay out of it! We're going in after him! Okay, not too bad. Let's see if there's any interesting bonuses. Nope. Unfortunate. As we can see, there's some enemies in the corners, but... We are pretty much at the point where I could just do whatever to them. There's not really anything they could do anymore. We're over double their level. At this point, it's just kind of walking forward and cleaving everything. Do things like Winged Cutter, for example. Um, sure, let's improve our damage with Braveheart. If they die, they die. <laughs> Just how I view it at this point, chat. Our Braveheart boost with and Parameter is kind of insane. The other character's got to catch up a little bit. And I guess I'll still use Magic Boost. Just to get their staff proficiency up just a little more. So level 2 is where we start to see some benefits. Someone... Who, sur who survived that attack? How, how did Cancel survive? He's got the worst equipment. Wait, wait. How, did, how is he the one that survived? Not the characters with muscle and, like, devil ring on? Okay. Chat, whatever. The game bias is real. Yeah, might as well just kill them. Again, if they die, they die. It's just going towards our 300 deaths for later. You got injured a little bit, I guess. Level up Wind Cutter a little more. Um. Sure, we'll thumb in Thursday. See if they actually attack and kill these characters or not. There we go. Yeah. I am really surprised they survived that. It just shows we need another weapon at some point, which I think I get next chapter. I think I literally just have to beat this chapter and then I get a massive, massive upgrade. So you're dead. I'm not gonna bother moving these characters. <laughs> I almost killed him with a counterattack. That's kind of embarrassing. Hurricane Slash is getting improved, which is good. Oh, how did she live? Come on. Give me at seven, whatever. Uh, let's use more SP. That's what's got a better gaming chair than all of us, definitely. It's kind of insane. Like, he is literally the most, uh, it, like, unarmed character. I don't know how he survived. He's even lower level too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, like, look at that. Like, in Parameter, it's like 13 more HP. I think his resistance is way higher too. I, I don't understand how that happened. It was like actual shenanigans happened. Yeah, unfortunately, we just got really crappy items. I might as well just sell them. So in theory, I could get expensive items 8 if I want to. The max rank is 12, I think I mentioned earlier. But for this playthrough, uh, we'll probably unlock it once we're done with the game. For now, we'll continue onwards. Yeah, these levels are... These levels don't really have a lot of tempting merge targets other than the first stage, so 
at least this chapter should go okay. That's why I decided to continue. I was like, uh, it's not as annoying as the other stage was. Yeah, I think he did get hit by a weaker spell, because that that was ridiculous. <laughs> it's like nobody else survived, but he did. Huh? What's wrong, Thursday? Oh no! The shock from that old man's attack has short-circuited him. Can you repair him, Jennifer? Even though I built Thursday when I was five, I can't fix him without the proper equipment. Me, me, bleh. Oh, the damage to the memory circuit is extensive. If Thursday overheats, then his entire memory will be lost. Hmm, that leaves me no choice. Thursday, you're going to have to sit on the sidelines for now. Beep, bleep, beep. Whoa, wait, Thursday can I? I won't allow it. We can't afford to lose you. Gordon's right. You heard what I said, didn't you? Your memory could be lost. If that happens, you'll forget about Gordon and I and all the wonderful memories that we've shared together. Beep. Thursday, I anyway. Thursday. Even though Thursday robot, Gordon and Jennifer call Thursday friend. Thursday, happy. Thursday want to show gratitude. Thursday may lose memory if participation is resumed. Lose memory. Very sad, but being useless even more sad. That is why Thursday fight alongside you. Until very end. Thursday. <laughs> What's wrong? You gotta go? No, he doesn't. He's been touched by Mr. Thursday's heart. Heart? Robots have hearts? What are you saying? Thursday's words are the very heart of a defender of Earth. It doesn't matter if he's human or robot. He has the same spirit burning deep inside of him. Thursday! Yes, Captain Gordon? Your noble spirit has touched my heart. No matter what the outcome, I will be proud to fight beside you. Now join us, Thursday! Me, me. Thank you, Captain. Thursday, so glad to have met you. There we go, chat. For Thursday, we gotta win now. Oh, another kind of gimmicky stage. It's like, uh, I mean, just showing you, like this, this, this is so ridiculous. I, I am not coming back there and dealing with the geo symbols. We're just gonna go one shot everything. It's gonna take a while though. something like there and it should be good uh well this is one of the reasons i wanted braveheart although i'm gonna be using it very very extensively after this point hey. even with their bonus defense it did not matter level cancel since apparently he's the MVP. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> the unkillable one. It's looking at Ooh, Staff Mastery 4 already. Nice. So yeah, this stage is just ultra ultra gimmicky. Not really any threat. But we'll keep doing this, I guess. For the most part, they should be good to go. Once the final character learns Braveheart, then we'll have everything we need for the uh, bonus stages. Because only having three is kind of bad. You can see I'm just kind of bonking them. I could in theory merge them if I want to, but there's no point. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go kill them, chat. Oh, this is my time to level proficiency, I guess. The downside is that because I don't have a quick way to swap between characters, I think after this, 
I'm not gonna bother casting spells with these characters. I just wanted to make sure I had options for the future. We're gonna focus on Laharl for the rest of the stage, since there's no uh, shortcut to go over there. I did want to mention though, if I hold the confirm button, it does move the mouse a little quicker. It's kind of nice. Sometimes I forget about that feature. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be here a while, chat. <laughs> At least we have uh, five Braveheart stacks. I just needed one character with Braveheart to just ensure I one shot. Oh, that actually leveled us. Nice, I guess. Let's use Wind Cutter here. Actually, I could Meteor Impact. No, not quite. Ooh, they were too far apart. Unfortunate. It was worth a go, I guess. We still have, like, a ton of SP, thanks to the other item that I have. Though I shouldn't need to restock it here. See, I'm not sure without Quintuple Braveheart if that would have one-shot or not. I don't think it would have. Oh, that actually works. That definitely would not have one-shot. Thank you, one-shots. Not necessarily mandatory here, but it's nice to use. Just a spear, sadly. A weapon we don't use. Thank you, game. So, we're almost halfway with the number of deaths that I need. 144. Technically, the other thing I think I mentioned was 165, if I recall earlier in the notes. But yeah, the odds of me doing 20,000 health worth of damage between now and the end of the game is basically zero. Unless I really want to spam, like, one of the muscle spirits over and over. Which I don't really want to do. It's very minimal gain at this point. I've been waiting for you, Overlord. Countless years have passed since I left my home. Earth so far away. How oh, I've dreamt of this day. Now, we shall settle this at last. That we will. King Laharl runs from no one. Come on. Wait, Laharl. You're not going to actually fight him, are you? Why not? He challenged me, didn't he? Laharl, you're... Flan, just let him do things his way. My friends, aid me in battle! Hmm? He's not alone? Friends, chat. More zombies, huh? What do you think of this? I've made a few friends over the years. Here I come, Overlord. Now is the moment that I fulfill my duty. Very well. On guard, old hero. I want chat to witness this, by the way. When I saw the stage. Yeah, by the way, see, see the upper left enemy boost times six? The first time when I played it right before starting today's session. I was like, okay, where are the geo panels? So they're all the way, the prisms anyway, are over here. So what an annoying stage. See, like this is this is the kind of thing where I don't know how you would do this with only a solo character. And this is why I did not say it's a solo character challenge. Because this would seem very tedious to snipe this on a time six. Like that it's pretty good stats. So anyway, so our goal is to get back there. So I guess in doing so, make sure our best throwing characters are here. Could do something like... I 
only one Gordon in the mix for throws. Probably have one more thrower. I don't think I need this many. But the nice thing about this is that before we go further, I could use up more SP. The better than nothing, chat. That should speed up the gameplay a little bit. Anyway, this is like the equivalent of throwing somebody here. Oh, that, okay. See, that was a good diagonal throw, right, chat? That one was actually good. I don't know why I couldn't get that earlier. It's such a heartbreaker. Um... I think it really matters what I use to destroy this. Other than they absolutely need to die. Let's do this. Anyway, gimmick over. See, so yeah, I had one more thrower than needed, but that's fine. They can't really kill Gordon, so if I really need somebody to come back... He's the most likely one to survive. Look at him put in the work, chat. Now we run away. <laughs> um, I might as well level magic boost a little more. But I think most of their abilities are pretty much where I need them to be. I'll probably ignore them for a while, other than to put them away at some point. That is a really juicy Overlord smiting area. Only the other character didn't die. There's so many possible ways to kill them here, chat. Look at this wall of enemies. It's so silly. I think for now I'm gonna kill them and see what happens. Oh, they surrounded me? That was a mistake. Of course this one was fire resist. That sucks. Anyway, I could put these characters back. Unless this is bonus XP. I was gonna say, if this was bonus XP, this would have been a very convenient stage for it. I'm not gonna lie. Lots of enemies that don't move. Unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna come over here and see what happens. Oh. Well, that answers what happens. If I get poisoned here, this is actually pretty bad. Hmm. Alright, let me do this. That should kill most of the poisoners. Apparently got a steam achievement. I heard it click off on me. Alright, let's come over here for a second then. So what I need to do is... I need one more person. I could have Rogue 9 be the hit point delivery system. I think that would actually probably make the most sense. Come to the rescue, Rogue 9. I need you. Who needs a cleric when you could just do this? It's kind of funny watching the zombies have heal. As long as we don't get poisoned here, which we did not, means I could do something like this. Get rid of these two. Have Jennifer come over here and probably just use a SP recovery. There we go. We got rid of some of our weaker healing. She tried.
Right, chat? We got there eventually. I, think I can wind cutter these two. Nice. Any level up is appreciated at this point. Um, I'm over here. I shouldn't have anything to worry about. I'm at pretty high level, so I should not die instantly. Like, his best attack just did, like, 70 to me. So I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is status ailments. Try to lure the other zombie closer. There we go, chat. We almost beat the stage. Oh, you normal attack me? That was foolish. Okay. Hi, right, chat. Well, time to Overlord Wrath them. Okay, we got there in the end. Look at that. We're getting all this hell back to revive all the characters we just killed. Disappoint you. Hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. Double exclamation mark chat. The betrayal. You've let me down, Laharl. You're the worst. It's okay, little girl. I felt like she was going to say something more. She's like, you're the worst. Like, the way she said it, it was kind of a weird delivery. Huh? It's all okay. I'm satisfied now. What do you mean? be hard for you to understand but we heroes live a certain way and we die a certain way too yeah the worst hyphen exactly i was once known as the defender of earth but i grew old died and have since existed as a mere soul i could no longer live as a hero nor could i die as one i just wandered the netherworld how pathetic i felt but at long last, I was able to fight again as Defender of Earth. I wasn't able to win, but I have no regrets. In fact, I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. It's all thanks to this kid Overlord, because he fought me with all his might. Now I can finally rest in peace. Thank you. Huh. What kind of hero thanks an overlord? I was just fulfilling my own duty. <laughs> Gordon, Thursdays. Hey, hang in there, Thursday. Gordon, Jennifer. Don't speak, Thursday. You'll waste your energy. It is okay, Jennifer. Did Thursday. Serve his purpose. Thursday! Yes! Of course, of course you did, Thursday. We were only able to overcome the many obstacles we faced in our adventures because of your support. We three together are the defenders of Earth. So don't give up, Thursday! Thank goodness. Thank you for all. Trip Thursday chat. Thursday. 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 Young defender of Earth, you have wonderful friends. <laughs> he says this like right after a death scene. He got kind of poor timing on his part. If I had friends like that, maybe things would have been different. This shall be my final act as Defender of Earth. Oh, there we go. Ah! I mean, you caused this problem, to be fair. You should probably fix it. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Thursday. Well, how can this be? His circuit is fixed. Use cure magic. That hasn't been learned by anybody in the party, literally. 
<laughs> Only Flan's power of love could have saved him. Which means... Beep, flip, beep. Good morning, Captain Gordon. Jennifer. Oh, Thursday! Oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much. How can we repay you? No, it was my fault this happened in the first place. I don't need to be thanked. Exactly, it is your fault. Farewell, young defenders of Earth. Remember that spirit inside you. I salute you, Don Joaquin, the original defender of Earth. Maybe there are some decent humans out there after all. It looks like you're getting the hang of being Overlord, aren't you, Prince? Of course! Who do you think I am? I'm the Great King Laharl! Um, Laharl, I'm sorry that I jumped to conclusions and said such horrible things. That's right. You said I'm the worst, didn't you? What were you going to say next? The worst... What? Uh, well... I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. Me, too? What kind of filthy language was about to escape those love-preaching lips? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. The answer is... Damn, she just hit oh, Thursday. She destroyed the evidence. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Chat's like, kill Flan now. <laughs> Purge her. Oh, Thursday. Oh my god, are you okay, Thursday? Wicked little angel. Yep, worse than a demon. No, I'm not. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Episode 11, Heroes Will, Overlord's Way, The End. Chapter 13. Etna and Jennifer's Netherworld Telephone Shopping! Today's item, the multi-purpose super robot, Thursday! Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Tired of after-thanks taking sales hassles? Leave it all to Thursday. He'll bring the entire mall right to your doorstep! Thursday's supercomputer makes preparing your taxes a cinch. No more buying tax software every year. What a great way to save! <laughs> now you can get your very own Thursday with a free branch lopper and knife set. All for just twenty nine nine ninety hell. That's right, just twenty nine nine ninety hell. Call right now. I was going to say, we could order like a million Thursdays according to that price. You neglected to mention the next episode. Sure, we'll save. I'll clean up these save files later. There we go, chat. What was that? Felt like an earthquake, but they barely ever happen around here. But whenever there's one, something big always happens. <laughs> I wonder what catastrophe will happen this time. Prince! 
Yes, several giant objects have appeared at the Stellar Graveyard, dude. That was quick. How many? Dude, there are billions of them! You hear that, Jennifer? The EDF is here to save us. We can go home! Wait, Gordon. We can't be so sure. Even if it was the EDF, why would they send so many ships? Oh, come on. Why are you being so pessimistic? It's not like you. Well, why don't we go check it out? I agree. Sitting here won't do any good. All right, then. To the Stellar Graveyard. Okay. So we hit 81, so we're, we're a pretty good level for the basically the end of the game. More importantly, we got that proficiency up another 5%, so that's where most of our stat increase came from. I could probably survive a hit in case I mess up. Let's talk to these people. Been a while since the last natural disaster. Let's see, there was the time when the king was so happy that the queen accepted his proposal. He knocked over a few mountains. The time when the king was so thrilled the prince was born. He froze the ocean. The time when the king was so sad because of the queen's passing, he split the earth in two. Can you consider those to be artificial disasters? You're, um... Is it me, or are the humans overshadowing you, prince? No, they're not. It's just you. Let's hope so. I mean, I'm higher level than them. I don't think they are. What could these unidentified objects be? Space battle cruisers? Giant robots? Well, the way things have been going lately... It could be just about anything, I'd say. Here, um... Mouse control. Always love sci-fi stories. He never says anything new. Stolen memories. My precious memory. The dying words of the king. I protect the prince. Not long after I made that promise, my memories were stolen. I don't know if he knew of my promise, but it was Medeiros who stole my memories and plotted to take over the throne. He proposed a deal to me, but one of my memories back. I had to kill the prince. It's ironic that in my stolen memories was my promise to protect the prince, but I had no choice. I think we viewed all the memories. It's when was the netherworld open to the public. Who cares? It's more fun this way. Okay. I don't think we need anything there. Let's see. We're sitting at 144 deaths. Almost halfway for the HP, a little bit above halfway for the SP. Yeah, we need so many more deaths before the end of this game, chat. John unidentified objects are in the Stellar Graveyard, too. So we don't know what's there. Do whatever tickles your fancy. Well. On the plus side, chat, we really don't have that much left of the game to go. The next time, we will definitely get the normal ending. I'm gonna go take two more safety items, so I don't have to do this next time. One will definitely be an eclair. The other will be Flan, because my health is not high enough for that to be anything else. So we did actually use some healing items. We did use some SP ups. I can burn these whenever I want, and if we don't burn them, it's also fine. So I could technically give her the spear. Oh, actually, it's actually worse. But yeah, we basically need to be at 1.1 mil hell before I would even consider doing anything. And I could sell some of the other junk we have, but... It's fine. I'd, I'd rather it sit on these other characters for now. Plus, I might need to dive into a basic item for something later. But I'd rather just keep those around. Oh. I didn't know she actually came with an uber rare. I don't think that's guaranteed. You see, the rarity is zero. Compared to, like, rarity 215 for a common item. Flan eating flan, pretty much. So this is actually surprisingly interesting. I don't know if I'm going to use this at all, but it's interesting she came with that. Oh, look at that, Chad. Steel armor. Defense does not super matter in this game. So yeah, we're just kind of taking a look through. We gave him double monster belt, so technically he could do some damage. 
Yeah, for the most part, we only care about belts. So at some point, when we have a ton of ton of money, which will be very easy once we pass a couple enemy strength and bills, uh, I will basically just buy the super belts, and it'll triple stack it on whatever character is playing. Like, Sophia's Mirror is okay. Like, I could take the small damage hit because we have Gladiator on this one, for example. So I could get more well-rounded stats here. But overall, the other belts adding 300 attack, it's kind of hard to compete with that until we get something like Testament. So for now, let's save. And chat about how we think things went. Well, chat, I will probably, for the sake of YouTube, edit out the, uh, the very silly botch attempt where I did not diagonal throw properly, since that was 100% on my error. So I think otherwise, chat, uh, from the standpoint of, I guess the playthrough, we should have only two stages left. After that, I haven't decided how much of the bonus we're gonna do, like if we're gonna go all the way to ball or not. The other stages are pretty easy to complete. Like, I could probably do it in one session, since it just requires getting one monster vaguely near 999, and I don't even have to make them 999. But essentially, we're gonna take advantage of things like the golems, the necromatas, and maybe one of the sword demon things, and basically smite them. Pretty world is a testament. I can't steal it, though. You're making a really big assumption. My stats are... I'm going to have like a 1 or 0%. My speed and every other stat is garbage. So I don't think I could realistically steal it unless I get a 9999 character. Once I do that, I think I'm good. Which is why I don't think I want to start some of the bonus stuff until we get some monster levels. Because there's a lot of stealables. We're going to be fighting a lot of uh, named characters. And we're going to be taking a lot of those named characters' equipment in order to power up our monsters. So we will get some benefit from doing them, but yeah. I, I don't know if I really want to, you know, grind it out to fight like a level 250 enemy, or in some cases a 2000 level enemy. I don't think that's super worth our time. Can capture it though. Um... Maybe... Are you allowed to even pick them up in Prinny World? I thought the whole point of Prinny World is you, they don't explode. I don't think that really changes my strategy either way. I could get a testament just through character death. I only need one testament. And that's mostly just to go into floors. So yeah. I can probably capture them then. So then I definitely don't want to do Prinny World early. So yeah, we're just gonna get 999 monsters and basically cheese the rest of the game. But I think from the challenge standpoint, aside from me, like, just having, like, total brain shut down for, like, 20 minutes, uh, I think otherwise we're doing fine. I don't have one character with Braveheart, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna get a chance to do so, and I think two stages, and I will reset on that stage if we do not get XP. Like, I, I cannot afford to go any further. I need Quadruple Braveheart by, I think it's two stages. It's like one of the only times I have to clear a Geo Puzzle in the story mode. That is my last opportunity to get Braveheart for the run. Since I've noticed that Braveheart doesn't give you XP in this version of the game. Otherwise, I could have just had them cast spells repeatedly on the Harl and I could have had it already. So that's kind of the downside, as I said before. Some of the quirks and stuff that happen in this game just don't exist in later games. And I, and I can feel it. And I wish they had updated it on Steam, but it is what it is there. But yeah, I'm not planning to grind it out. Kite's talking about many things, I'm gonna be honest with you, Kite. It We're gonna be playing for like 30 hours total, and in that point, I think that will include every bonus stage, so I have no interest in grinding money. <laughs> money, money does not matter. I would be like, we're gonna get maybe two level 999s, and that might be it. I mean, technically, once you have one 9999, it's very easy to get multiple, as it's kind of like exponential capture, but I think from our standpoint, we're just gonna... We're, we're not gonna bother leveling characters. I don't think it's worth the time. I, I have seen the posts online saying they take hundreds of hours, and people call this game a grinder's game, and I'm like... I think this is one of the only ones that has, like, 
almost zero grind start to finish. The only the only exception is this like when we're merging enemies together for the story. That's about it. So we'll we'll do some manipulation, I think, when we try Disgaea 2 in the future, but that's another topic for another day. You do completionist runs. I have no interest in doing that for a Disgaea game. I'm gonna I'm gonna break your heart if you're expecting that kind of stuff on stream. No thank you. No thank you. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and at least see most of the side story stuff for post-game. So I'm gonna leave it there. I don't think I have anything else to say for the run. I think otherwise I haven't repeated any stages. We don't have to force any bills, so technically that won't also be repeating a stage. So challenge still not void as of right now. And I guess as kind of part of that challenge, I guess I should put in the stream title. I don't plan on doing any monsters at all between now and the end of the game. So it will just be Laharl and the Bravehearts carrying the entire run. So no, no last minute cheese for like a level a thousand monster or something silly. That will not be happening in this playthrough. But anyway, I think for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.